Hello, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Rose Teeth Podcast. This week, brought to you by MeUndies, Movement, and Nature Box. Thanks to our sponsors for sponsoring this episode of the Rose Teeth Podcast. I'm Gus. Blaine. I'm Barbara. Bethany. And I'm Gus. So, I guess United is having a bad <laughs> year, huh? Everyone's like, talk about I'd like it! I like to thank our other sponsor, literally any other airline that isn't United. <laughs> Fuck those they, they, they are not... They are not doing well this no. year. No. What was the other thing? There's the uh, leggings thing, right? What was that? The leggings, the leggings thing? thing. The leggings thing. Yeah, that's right. We talked about that already. And then um, forcing a man to leave a plane and destroying his face in the process. So the yeah, story really was funny. that United overbooked a flight by four people. And there was four staff members mm -hmm. that needed to be on the flight right. in order to get to a certain city for another flight. I don't even know if I think it was from Chicago was to Louisville. Like flight attendants? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, like or staff. staff. Um, I don't know if they're necessarily flight attendants, but they had to get there. And so they told passengers, we need to have four people volunteer to leave and to give up their seats. Take a later flight. Mm -hmm. And no one volunteered, and they started offering more and more money. And I think a few people had volunteered, but there was one person that they had to, like, start randomly selecting people because no one was volunteering. How did they yeah, randomly I they, select I think there were three them. volunteers. There's, How much they did they needed, get? They needed one more. But the guy was with his wife, though. Was he? That's what I read. Apparently he was, he was with his wife, and they they were both chosen. Oh. Well, oh. regardless of, of whether or not he was with his wife, I guess he was randomly selected, but he's a doctor and needed to be in the city for, like, surgery or something, like, to see his so patients, patients the next day. Mm -hmm. uh, and he refused to leave, and that's as much as we know, and there's a video that, I guess, people on the flight had taken of him getting removed. Tons of people take it. From yeah. the flight. But how did like, he get removed? Like, wouldn't they take them off before, or, like... They were already, they were already on the plane, on the and they needed people yeah. to get off the plane. Ugh. So imagine, yeah. Bethany, I'm like, hey, uh, we're about to take off, but we need a couple people. You, ma'am, can you come with me? Like, what would you do in that I situation? I would fight. Yeah, I'd just be like, <laughs> fuck Yeah, you. they basically pulled him out of his seat. Like, by violently, force. And uh, he hit his, uh, like, as they're pulling him out, I mean, they're they're not gentle at all. He's face, and the armrest like, is hits down into still. the armrest. Oh, yeah. uh, and it, I don't know if he, like, lost consciousness or... Or what happened? Because he went limp after that. Quiet, They're like yeah. dragging him off the plane. I just think he was just not going. He kind of seemed dazed, and then he just kind of had like a little bit of yeah. blood dribbling out. And they got him off the plane, and then he ran back onto the plane. Oh, Why? I don't think that that's the case. I think they let him back on. I'm not sure about that, though. And then, well, what and I read was he ran back on, on, and he space. was like holding on to the plane. Oh, shit. It was really fucked so up. So did they just intense. point at him in, at random, or did they, they have a, a system? Was they, he the last one that booked they his They said flight? they used a computer to computer, determine yeah. someone randomly. To random sele randomly select. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Which, in in my opinion, they should have like kept saying more and more money until more people said yes. Because at one point, like if they're I've offered like go, a thousand bucks, I've seen it go up way past eight hundred before. They could have offered more money. Yeah, yeah. to avoid this. I've scandal, often which wondered what would happen mistake. if nobody. Volunteered because I've been in those situations yeah, before. Yeah, out. <laughs> yeah, where, where yeah. you know I, a lawsuit. They have to give a lot of money. <laughs> is and, what happens. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's. Absolutely I've had it where crazy. they've they've not only given you the money or the credit for the for another flight in the future, but gift cards. Like yeah. I've seen them go up to a thousand dollars one time for I don't know, it was like Amazon or something. Yeah, but just you can't buy leggings with that gift card though. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> you can buy anything but leggings. <laughs> Uh, good joke. Call back to I feel like with the shirt, incident. that makes it even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh. yeah, I mean, it's so, the combination of the shirt and the open buttons. I have my honest. own thoughts on this. Okay, what are your thoughts? Something that I fucking hate about social media is that an incident like this happens. Which hunt? And everyone turns it into a witch hunt. Everyone gangs up on the entire, like the company itself for what happened on this isolated incident on this one flight with this one passenger. And they, like I understand holding the company responsible and mm -hmm. the airline in general and people be like oh, i'm never flying united again but like shit happens sometimes and i feel like it's like well, i hate the idea of blaming an entire well, what, corporation well, for well, what one i would team. say um i think what in my opinion it's like yeah, they're fucked up i'm sure the united training manual does not say rip a man out of a seat of and course. slam his face into a chair uh but i think you know what happened here is these people who were moving in from plane like almost didn't see him as human. Yeah, right. There's like he yeah. was just an <laughs> obstacle that needed to be moved. Yeah. I think there were like really I think up. there were baggage handlers actually the way that they were throwing them around. Yeah, there were. Yeah. I know there was like two cops and one other person. I don't know if that was also a cop. I don't so know. was it a, a, was it a flight on, attendant so or someone like a gate agent? No, it was casual police. Friday with oh, yeah. these guys. Oh, that poor lady. Yeah. She was like, "What are you doing? Like, oh yeah. my god, You're being dragged out." <gasps> oh man. Yeah, it's really fucked up. Oh my god. and I'm really I'm really curious to see what what they find from this you know i think what's the process like i think <laughs> there are a lot of people yeah who led to this there are a lot of people responsible who need to be 
punished for this and like happening. stuff like that like not having a good plan or a good process to get those seats available i think that's a more like reason why i, I think united yeah. should be blamed for something mm -hmm. like this whereas like the the fact that he was mistreated obviously grossly mistreated i don't think necessarily is a reflection on the airline itself to be fair united does fucking suck regardless of that <laughs> and the leggings incident i always if i have the option I would never book them, and I, I Gus always would argue try with to you on Gus that is, one. You're a frequent. I fly United Gus all the time. Is like, I, yeah. Gus and maybe one other person I can think of, Nadia, are the only two that I know that travel on our like with our company, yeah. like on United. Everyone else pretty much prefers American. American Southwest mostly. American, that's me. Yeah. Because United, like I've I've had so many real bad shit delays and missed flights and all yeah. sorts of crap with those guys. It's just yeah, I, I always like expect the worst when I when I go mm -hmm. with them. Also, their in-flight entertainment sucks. <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's right entertainment. I feel like their selection's bad, but when I hop on American, I'm like, oh, hey, Mad Max Fury Road, here we go. <laughs> he, that's what Blaine watches on every flight he goes on. It's just Mad Max every, every What a lovely flight. day! <laughs> but also, like, the thing about this stuff happening on social media is no one knows the full story. Everyone I, I claims like that they that, know... That definitely happened with the leggings thing. Exactly. The leggings thing was a whole other incident where, yeah. yes, it, it, it might have been still wrong in a sense, but there was a whole other side to that story that people didn't know about. So who was the person actually pulling him in the video that we saw? See, I don't know. That was uh, airport police. But they had jeans. It was like... Maybe he was... There were two cops with the guy. Two cops. Two cops. And who was that other guy, though? You don't know? He was just a volunteer. He was just so happy to be there. That's what I'm wondering. Wanted to participate. Air Marshal. They had to know it was going to be filmed. I mean... Oh, for sure. You can't get away with anything without shit getting yeah. filmed. Open. Look what Gu Gus got. Gus Bethany was very this. sweet today since it's my first time on the podcast. He oh. walked into my office and said, I have what? this gift for you. Why are you outing me like this? Welcome. And it was in a brown paper bag. fucking break it. I thought it was going to be a really inexpensive bottle, which I love cheap champagne, but this was a very nice gesture. How bad does that hurt? Do you want to pop that in my ass? I don't, I don't like, like popping. Just like pop the cork in my butt. I don't butt. like popping champagne bottles. They scare me. Or Gus, will you do us what, the you, honor? You, you, you can do it yourself? I can. I just, I it'll really take scared. I mean, obviously I can if I'm trying to shoot into my butt. <laughs> you get really scared? Yeah. You, are you, you really <laughs> want me to do this? Uh, is it going to oh, hurt? Yeah. I don't know. All right, we'll try it. <laughs> I just I'm have. I'm clench my ass. I'm taking the safety off. Oh, oh I, but my face is so close to Blaine's ass. Uh, should I move somewhere, guys? Hold on, hold Maybe on. Maybe like, uh, like. Oh, I'm oh, okay, uh, clenching my butt so good. Safety's off. Okay. Safety's oh, off. Fire, fire. Oh, Blaine, why uh, are you doing this? Spine. Don't hit me. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Jeez. I said shoot the cork into my butt. Don't. It, it was. Don't it, explode the cream on me. I was me. so excited. I. uh... I exploded a little prematurely. <laughs> no. he, he swears this never happens. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know why I did that. It's been in your fridge for hours. I know. Um, did you all do that on purpose? Is that why you didn't want to open it? No! I, they absolutely based did. Based on that they reaction. Absolutely no, did. we didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't. I didn't. Fucking shortest episode of the podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kick everyone off. Do this podcast by myself. What did I do wrong? I don't know. You're just... Adjacent to them. God damn it. Okay. We, it I, got was the, not, I got it all over my brand new long sleeve funhouse shirt. Oh. oh Available God. now at roosterteeth.com slash store. I know, where, I know store. where you can get another. Also, that uh, is that our new uh, hoodie? Yes, I'm wearing one of our new hoodies. That's the story now. <laughs> I, I want to talk some more about social media as soon as I'm done cleaning. Okay. Oh, you want to talk about uh, Nugs? Nugs. Nugs. Uh, yeah, I hate that guy a little bit. I don't hate the guy. I Explain hate... the situation for so, people who might be living under a there's rock. There's that guy. He uh, he tweeted at Wendy's asking how many retweets he would need to have on a tweet in order to get free nuggets for life. Was for, it for, I think, for, I think it for a year. For a year. He said. It, not even that much. Let me look. Uh, Which apparently is like a if he gets the medium it's option, it's six hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> it's uh, and uh, for one said, year. For a year. That's nothing. A whole That's year. Nothing. They said uh, eighteen million retweets. So he Shit. did that, and people have picked it up, including United. <laughs> they tweet, they retweeted it last week. Oh, man. <laughs> they also uh, responded. Yeah, and uh, they they responded they would give him a free flight and fucking punch him in the mouth when he got on the plane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, his uh, that tweet now is at two point three million retweets. There's no wow. possible so way he's gonna make it. It, 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 got, it got me. 18. It got me thinking a lot about Twitter as a platform, and I think Twitter is filled with bots. Twitter's a scam, I think. I think they overinflate their numbers. Push Twitter is a scam, daddy. Gus Sirola 2017. <laughs> and they, uh, so I, I started wondering, remember at the Oscars a few years ago, they had like the most retweeted photo ever, which and is still the most retweeted photo <laughs> three ever. Three million, I think, 3.3 right? 3 million. Okay. 
And uh, people were like, I, I think I made a tweet about it, how this is going to expose how no one uses Twitter. Mm. Everyone's like, oh, Twitter has 300 million daily active users. Bullshit. I saw your tweet about it. Bullshit. Because this is something like everyone, like brands and people are retweeting, and they can't even get to three. No one's using Twitter. It's over. Yeah. I was going to say, like, 18 million is impossible on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. The fact that Ellen's tweet only got to 3.3 million, yeah. and that's fucking yeah. Ellen DeGeneres at the Oscars. And times all actors. those other people that were in it. And right. exactly. I think, that. yeah, people were telling me uh, that my math didn't make sense because Ellen, I think it was Ellen, has like 66 million followers. So I looked at her timeline, I was like, how come she can't get more than 10,000 engagement then? That's 0. 0.015% yeah. of the yeah. people who follow her. Do you ever, uh, do you ever do, they have like um, a thing that you can type in someone's username and see yes. how many fake Twitter We just did this the other day. W which one do you use? Because we found one, but it stopped working. Uh, Alana sent it to me and it's pretty interesting. I think I was sitting at about an 80 or 85%. Like, obviously I would not go out of my way to buy fucking Twitter followers because who gives a shit about do, that? Where do you even buy Twitter followers? Apparently there's a place because I know of some people that do that shit. Oh, I do know someone who did that. I, know someone I should ask asked. him where to do that. Yeah. Why would you Are want you to out someone? No. No. Would you want to? Would you be interested in doing that? No. <laughs> no, I mean, I I'm Don't just care. interested in where like is it a person you talk to or like a website you go to? It's like you some guys like, "Hey, hey, want to buy a watch? Want to buy some followers?" <laughs> <laughs> but then out you're just getting plagued by people asking to push the, your, their dick on you or something, whatever that bot says. I, I wonder what the like what's the largest amount you could buy from because I assume people have like connections in terms of you get like a bulk well, you discount. Said you can you go to like Costco and are they cheaper and you got to buy like a bigger pack? Well, you saw that you were buying like I don't know what you like a fifty or something one time just to check it out. Well, what I did was uh, I had a twenty dollar credit for Twitter ads. Okay. So I was like, I'm gonna use it and see how it works. So like via the Twitter ad interface, yeah. I just spent like twenty dollars they gave me to see, and I think it bought me like four followers. Twitter audit. Oh something. wait, you could buy it through Twitter. You don't buy it. You like advertise to targeted people who oh. might want to follow. You. Wink. And uh, <laughs> I got like four or five followers out of it. Twi Twitter wow. audit. Five bucks a follower. Twitter audit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I thought that myself. was the one we used. Is it not the one? I'm still I, sitting I at an 86% so. real. But you, so you had to like allow it access to your profile then? Nope. I can type in anybody. I can type in you. Ads roller? Well, yeah. that's why we were avoiding it the other day. We didn't want it to have access to our profiles. Uh, you have a See, 71%. Look. Do her. Uh, be, be Dunkelman? Be, no. I, Bethany Arteef? Bethany... I thought R we tried mine, but we tried it on your R -T -E -E -T -H? laptop. R-T-E-E-T-H? R-T-E-E-T-H. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Blaine's uh, searching. Oh, shit. Sound. It just told me to, that I have to be able to authorize it. That's weird. See, now sometimes it's broken it, for you. Sometimes it works. See, sometimes it, it was Bethany that did us. it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, someone on Twitter, who is this? Uh, Cricket and Clover's asking if Gavin and Bernie are not going to be on the podcast until later. So team two is over. Um, hopefully. <laughs> They're also not filming for as long as they were last year. Sorry, yeah. we're not good enough for you. So, like, I know Bernie's trying to be yeah, helpful, but he ends up doing things that are really counterproductive to me when he's filming Laser Team. Uh huh. Like what? Like last week, I I had I knew ahead of time that Bernie and Gavin both told me they were filming. They're not gonna be able to be on the podcast last week. But so then yesterday, like Sunday night and Monday morning, Bernie's like, "Hey, I'm trying to work out my schedule to see if uh, I can be on the podcast." I'm like, "I I've already booked it." There's already people like I can't wait until like Monday afternoon to determine yeah. whether or not he can be here. So Bernie, stop trying. <laughs> I feel like did he ask who the cast was? I don't think so. Because I feel like if you're like yeah, Blaine's gonna be on, he'd be like ah, stop it, I'll Blaine. Go we were talking about you the other day. About <gasps> we were. We were and saying horrible, horrible things about how just like we don't know why that you're, you're so like self-deprecating and like don't think highly of yourself. You're a great person. Oh yeah, we were talking about this. Yeah. Both of you guys together. together. We have Blaine meetups. Oh, okay, we do. Nice. We actually put them on our Google Calendar to yeah. talk about you. Uh, I I don't know. I can't offer an explanation. This this happen, this tends to be like a common topic of conversation whenever I'm on the podcast, and I don't want it to be because yeah. it's just like oh, the Blaine show. Hmm, hmm. See, you're doing it right now. You're like, I don't want to talk about myself. <laughs> oh well, not not be. in the not in that light. Uh, Alana told me that I'm completely different on. Off topic as opposed to the podcast because I'm not off topic. I'm just like my always open. Always open. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, always open. I was like, when did you get to go on off topic? No, never. Um, because I'm like my genuine <laughs> self and I'm a lot more open and like kind of whatever. 
But on here, she says, I have just like the lowest self esteem and I seem like such a puss. I think it also depends on, on who you're around. Like, I think I think Bernie and Gavin have the ability to bring that out in anyone. Yeah, but they're not here. He's I know, still, that's he's what still I'm doing saying. it. No, I'm good. I'm doing good today. You're I'm doing among great. friends. Yeah. They just brought it up because they want to, you know, whatever. Look at that man. new hair you've got going on, too. Oh, dude, my hair's all fucked today. What I happened? Like it. My arms are looking great. Too. The weather happened. Yeah, the weather happened. I had it all nice and gelled up. And I was like, Aaron, just do whatever with it. And she did. And here it is. <laughs> And he looks great. I like this. Yeah, this is nice. I'm gonna go with this look. You now. Job, <laughs> You're too completely fucking it up. <laughs> oh, sorry, Aaron. <laughs> when I was uh, there you go. younger, like when we first started Rooster Teeth, oh. I would shave my head just because I was so lazy. I didn't ever oh. want to bother doing anything with my head. Oh, it's like that's why I would just keep my hair really photo? short, huh? You have a photo? Uh, I'm sure you can find one fairly easily. Uh, I guess they're all. Uh... I mean, if we can find you naked on yeah. the internet, I probably could find that. Let's see. Don't smell your fingers like that, Blaine. Product tasted weird. So. <laughs> what? Oh, oh I, found, I found one. Um, Gus one time came out of. I think he had just finished filming Heroes and Halfwits, <laughs> and he was wearing that big metal. Yes, yes. Uh, Chainmail. Oh, thing. and how his hair looks yeah. pressed down. I was like, oh, you just get a haircut, buddy. He goes, no, I was just filming Some Heroes and Halfwits. Stupid yeah. Heroes and Halfwits. <laughs> just like how much volume it. your hair has that it was completely flattened from it. Or yeah, my were, hair's really bouncy. It, well, you it, were filming the other day, too, when it was all slicked back, and I think Clarissa called you Rico Suave. <laughs> <laughs> she did call me Rico Suave. Yeah, they put way too much product in my hair. I had to fucking try to wash it out in the sink here. Oh, Why no. Why do we never have clean towels in uh in this building? Oh, Mom. I might have used, like, four of those towels last week for what? a million dollars, but... Oh, the, yeah. Man, the, we got some good episodes coming up. We do. And yeah. you're in two of, like, probably the best ones... I would say. Wonder what the secret sauce is. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? It's really weird. It's me. Anyways, they're gonna be real good. Jessica's episode is gonna be fantastic. Yeah. We're filming with her, and I think uh, next week. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I hated that episode of Million Dollars, but I had to do. Why? Because I got I was getting wet constantly yeah. when I was being rained on. It ain't easy, is it, Gus? <laughs> do do we have do we have a uh, do I connect to it? I can never tell if I'm connected to it. It's black. Stupid. So I'm trying to fucking share this photo so you can see it. Uh, but yeah, because that, I'll, I'll, if it doesn't work this time, I'll send it to you. I had to try to, I had to do Matt's scenario, which was anytime someone asks you about the weather, it starts raining on you. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that mm. sucked. Because it was still kind of cold. It was still early spring. Oh, yeah. And then we had to do that thing where um, Max had my love child. Oh, yeah. That was good. Oh, yeah, for the Jerry Springer show. Yeah. I've had to, like, stop Max because he keeps wanting to put himself into my stuff as a, <laughs> quote, sexy lady. Um, he, he always... He was a sexy lady in a... <laughs> he always dresses up in a dress and a wig, and he's he's like, I'll yeah, just be a background person. Like, for, like, uh, 11 Little Roosters, the clues, that, like, if you entered the wrong address, it would be him, like, oh. you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> like, lipstick's all smeared. I love uh, looking at our... The quality of our art stuff today, as opposed to oh, like yeah. back when I first started. Yeah, yeah, even when I first started two years ago. Yeah, not even compared. Yeah. yeah, like I mean, there was even I remember one time they put on it like a nutritional label. They just like put crazy amounts of detail, and I was like, no one's ever going to see that, you know. But they like took pride. But in it. if they catch mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's even better. It's impressive. Yep. They have it. Oh, there it is. <gasps> oh, there's your hair. What's you look like you? a serial killer. <laughs> That's at the the Buda apartment. So that would have been like, oh five. We got a quick 06? switch back from Gus to that picture. Gus, that picture. Gus, that picture. Oh, uh, you got like a decade more of uh, <laughs> going on here. You still do look pretty much the same. Thanks. I don't know if you remember this, but back at like right before RVBTO, which was like the first um, fan event for Rooster Teeth. In Toronto, I had commented on that picture of you, and I said that I liked your shirt. And you said, "I'll bring it to Toronto when I come visit." So you, you wore that shirt, I think, at the event because I I said I liked. I it. also wore that shirt like every day you knew <laughs> me at that time. I fucking love that shirt. <laughs> True enough. Um, I, yeah, I think I think I went to TO yeah, in oh four or oh five because I missed the first one. I think. No, you were at the first, like the first official one. Okay, yeah, but there was like a like a test one before that, like yeah. the year before I didn't go to. I don't count that one. I think I'm becoming like a cartoon character because I found out that American Apparel is closing down and they make the best t-shirts. So I, I bought like, I think like 15 pairs of the same shirt, but just in different colors. But extra small. 
mediums. Okay. Thank you. I've okay. actually I've I've matured. And you, I started wearing mediums. You I like think wearing this, pairs of shirts? What size small. is that? This might be small. Check. This is a like women's fifteen and a half. I don't know what that means. Children, fifteen and a half, like like a year old, like fifteen a child. and a half year old, yeah. um, <laughs> not fifteen or sixteen, but fifteen and a half. But but I wear some variation of like small medium. Oh, see, it's right there. Small yeah. medium. Um, yeah, I started wearing that shit. Well, if you were like a comic book character, what would be your like go to outfit? Um, I could probably black like jeans. It. I would go with black or gray slacks. Mm. Slacks. Yeah. Uh, I, like, it's it's changed over the last couple of years. You started dressing better. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, still, I think I would still wear sneakers yeah. and you know, like a dark blue T-shirt, short sleeve shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Esther's helped that one along, huh? <laughs> some of our and along and with the sponsors. help of some of our fine sponsors who For are not Bethany, sponsoring tonight. I would say like a very cute florally dress hmm. or romper with like a nice cardigan. Yeah, and boots. That sounds lovely. Like, that's you as that my cartoon character version. Okay. I think on her first day at work, Bethany came into our office because it's when you and I shared an office. She came into our office and declared, "Like I don't ever wear pants." Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> on I was the first like, day. I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> and and then I looked over and saw a picture of you naked, and I was like, "That's my boss." <laughs> I remember thinking. It's weird that you never wear pants. I other just in yoga pants. When I left a job several years ago, on the on the last day, the receptionist asked me, she's like, Now that you're leaving, I can ask you this. Are you like really religious? And that's why you don't wear pants? <laughs> I was like, Do I act really religious or conservative? I just don't like pants. I don't like being constrained in the crotch region. Hmm. I, I want to be free. I get that. For anything. I at feel any like moment. If it was it was more socially acceptable for guys to wear skirts and dresses, I feel like they. Wouldn't. I mean, you oh, both have worn well, them before, Christ right? Don't for talk about something. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's a kilt. Kilts. Oh, mm. have you worn a kilt? I never have. What, what's your what's what's going on with you, Blaine? What's no, I just thing? wouldn't be cut dead in a kilt. Why? Because uh, like I get that it used to be a thing, you know, but now I think it's like one of those statements where it's like, eh, "I'm wearing a kilt. I'm the kilt guy." You know, it's yeah, like it's almost like well, no one wears it. I, I don't want to say no one. Not a lot of people wear it as like their common everyday fashion yeah it's usually for a purpose or of like they're that guy who wears the kilt it's a wacky statement the kilt guy I'm well so many times you guys have worn a dress for something like that you were filming i can't think have i ever worn a dress for filming I what about I what about lady. tons of times what? frag dude uh, no i wore no, uh, uh, shorts he was in shorts and like, i don't think i've ever worn a maybe not for a million dollars but i'm pretty sure i put you in a short or an old rt recap where you're dressed up as a pretty lady i don't think i've ever worn a dress you should try it it's liberating you should try it i, I do it i'm Did gonna be it? doing it again coming up soon yeah, go to MDB. it just feels free, especially when we live in such a hot climate. Like, it's just nice to feel free, especially in the summer months because it oh, gets yeah. so fucking hot. Well, when I went to Australia, got to air out that veg. You have to. When I went to Australia, I uh, bought. They have like these super small shorts there, like right up mid thigh. I remember those. And I bought like five pairs of those. Yeah, because they're the greatest thing ever. I remember you talking about those shorts. You're just like, man. I love the way I looked in that million dollars button in Sydney. <laughs> I was wearing these shorts. It was just like my legs look really good in them. They came up right to my thigh. <laughs> like cool, but, like, so, like good. okay. But I remember those shorts and how tight and short they were. Yeah. How right. how do you not get super sweaty in your balls and you're like butt crack and stuff? <laughs> oh, because I wear um I wear like nice underwear like uh, either athletic sliders or me undies. You know mm -hmm. what? It's funny you mentioned that because I'd like to remind everyone this episode of the Rishi's podcast wow. is brought to you by Me Undies. That segue. You've perfected your wardrobe, but what about the stuff not everybody gets to see? That's where Me Undies comes in. That was not planned at all, by the way. Uh, they're seriously soft, feel good undies delivered right to your door. Me Undies are designed in LA, made from sustainably sourced micro modal, a fabric three times softer than cotton. Me Undies softer than soft, luxe undies come in an ever changing selection of classic colors, bold shades, and adventurous patterns so you can tailor your undies to your own personal style. Uh, guess what? You can save time and money each month with a monthly subscription. And if you're not ready for a subscription, that's okay. You can still save. It's because MeUndies is offering you 20% off your first pair. Just use our special URL, MeUndies.com slash Roosterteeth. Get 20% off your first pair. So go ahead, revamp your underwear drawer. You deserve it. I said so. Uh, so that's MeUndies.com slash Roosterteeth. MeUndies.com slash Roosterteeth. You can 
wear the same underwear that Blaine and I wear. I mean, not the exact same one, but no, similar, you can for, for the right price. Blaine was telling me about me undies because he, I think, recently got some for the first time, and he said the fabric is so nice that it almost feels feels cold when you put it on. Yeah. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. My balls are nice and like frosted. Yeah, my balls but in too. A, in a fun way. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. really fun. Bethany's nice. balls get nice. Yeah, frosted. dude. Yeah, no, I went crazy. I went and bought like, well, I didn't go crazy. I bought ten pairs because it's like that's a lot of underwear to buy. I would say. Well, I was wait like, of shorts or underwear. Underwear. Oh, okay. But uh, I was super stoked about it. But uh, man, like it, I feel like everyone in the office gets free pairs of MeUndies except for me, and it bums me out. I think I've only gotten Just, one pair. Like, start your own podcast. Uh, I pay for my underwear, by the way. Do you? Yeah. How many pairs have you gotten for free, though? Uh, I, had, I had a few in the early days. I probably had like five. I would propose that if I ever am on the podcast, I would wear. Just me undies and no pants. If they gave me your supply for, for me undies, I'm for sure free. you would. I would. I'm sure they can work on that. They used to have. I'm looking on their website right now. They used to have a thing where you could buy 365 pair of underwear for every day of the year. Yeah, yeah. one for every day of the year, but that's gone. How much would that be? What? Like that's that was like waste. that was like a week ago. They that's had that. Such on a waste. I can't see it on here. So, Unless like, you're the kind of person that doesn't I, I think wash you got to go digging for it. But yeah, it was boxer briefs though, and they came out with a new like print that's like Indian, like uh, Native American Arizona kind of style. Ooh, nice. Just it's nice. <laughs> yeah, those are the ones. That looks good. I, it's Desert funny because days, they call it. I think it's because there's so few girls that get the underwear that like someone from sales will come in with like a delivery. They're like, it's great. All right, Barbara, pick some underwear. And they yeah. just have like a pile that I get to like pick a few it's from. Yeah. Bullshit. The, the 365 pack is out of stock. Oh, how much is it? But it's nice. Uh, four grand. Four grand? For 365 pair of underwear. But You're why basically not just set buy, for like, a couple of years unless you get fat. Why not just have like money and 10 like, bucks a pair? Wash them. Mm-hmm. More or less. Yeah. That's, you can treat that's them like diapers. You can take a shit in them and you can throw God. them out. Is that where you go? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, MeUndies, for sponsoring me. <laughs> no <laughs> wonder you wonder why you don't get free ones? You're on here talking about shitting in them? Here's how I know I like sorry. MeUndies. Hmm. I don't wear them during my period. Oh. Oh, so you take good care of them. I take but good care see, of them. see, I was going to say that I do, but not not like as a knock on them because they're, they're comfortable. so comfortable. That's true. I wear them when I know I'm going to be having sex. So. So like never? Who what was that audible moan? <laughs> I know that was someone back there. Someone just went. Ugh. Speaking of real quick, someone did tweet me. They did the search for me for the fake followers. And and it's it says ninety eight percent audit score. That's good. Four hundred uh, four hundred ish are fake. That's not bad at all. You got a, how many followers do you have? Like uh, nineteen thousand. Nineteen. You skyrocketed, 19. dude. That's a lot for. I mean, I'm not like really on anything, so I felt like that was a lot. Yeah. Bethany R. Teeth on Twitter. Go follow her. I remember I, I used to make Blaine upset when we were at the Ralph Oblinato office because I wouldn't follow him for a long time. And I followed like one of the Blaine parody accounts instead. <laughs> and you got you were like you were like visibly dejected when I told you that. That was so Aww. petty of me to do that. It, but like Twitter's just like pfft, right now. Yeah. It's one of those things where like if someone doesn't follow me or if I like unfollow someone, it does not matter to me it has like no power over me but people still get upset about it and i just don't understand people do get upset what what, so if like twitter's any like what are the social media platforms that like you all are using more or i'm trying to be more on instagram like that's just what yeah a lot of people are on these days snapchat is fun but i kind of I'll use it for a week or two, and then I'm I forget about it for several weeks bernie said something really funny to me about snapchat because he recently got snapchat and i guess follows me on it and he said i don't want you to take this the wrong way (laughs) Uh-oh. But I feel like anyone who follows you on Snapchat and doesn't know anything about you would think that you spend all of your time at your apartment on your couch. <laughs> 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 and I was like, it's so true because usually when I'm looking at Snapchats, when I get home from work or I'm yeah, like after work. just hanging out and I'm, I, I decide to go search Snapchat and see what everyone did all day. And then I decide, let me check out the filters and do a stupid post. And it's just me on my couch. And that's pretty much 99% oh, of my Snapchats. I can't do Snapchat because there's always the risk that if I send a dick pic, I po- post it to my oh, story. Oh, trust me. I've almost sent some of Bruce before. This right? Is, this is why you're coming off. I've, uh... <laughs> what? What do I do? I only wear me undies when I know I'm going to have sex. I'm scared about accidentally sending a dick pic to everyone who follows me on Snapchat. I'm Blaine Gibson. <laughs> Look at my hair. <laughs> uh, I don't really do... Yeah, Instagram every now and then. But, like, Facebook, I fucking... Facebook. What's the next social media? I feel like Facebook is has become like overly com- complicated. Yeah. Like there's so many different things, mm-hmm. and I, I don't know like any anybody. It seems like Facebook is where 
your parents are. There's also well, a lot of racists on Facebook. Facebook is where my grandparents slogan. are. Let's be real. I send your, you my, your, your grandmother my grandmother has great <laughs> interactions on Facebook. It's usually like about her bowel movements. Had the runs today, drat. And then the next one, <laughs> runs again. <laughs> And then runs. I've like screenshotted it several times and sent it to Gus. Or she'll be like talking shit about someone. Or she's like, you know that person can see like it. Her, her, so her like nurse or her aide. She's or like she'll she's talking shit about. Or she'll just start talking. talking. Like she she doesn't understand that the wall. Like you have to tag someone or send a message to talk to them directly. Uh -huh. And so she'll just start talking. Usually my dad will go on and say, "Mom, you gotta like tag the person and like." Or he'll just tag it for them and say so that they know like yeah. that she's saying happy birthday or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I've seen there was a, a Facebook account I saw that was an older woman and she, her entire timeline was just her posting messages that were meant for other people. Oh. That like she just like, "Hey Becky, I hope like your son's birthday party went yeah. well," and it'd just be all on her own timeline. <laughs> yeah, her statuses or whatever. Yeah, yeah I mean yeah. that just goes to show like how convoluted yeah. and complicated the the platform mm -hmm. is i used to think reddit was fucked like i i wouldn't touch reddit with a nine foot pole i, I didn't know it either I'm i used like, to call it the time. reddit and gus was like you're a grandma <laughs> <laughs> drat i had to learn a lot about social media working at this company i didn't have twitter when i started you also Barbara, didn't know what a computer was i oh, excuse me <laughs> what let's not Explain. get on bethany i i got a little confused <laughs> once <laughs> what <laughs> I asked her where the computer, like it was after Let's Play Live in LA, I think. Yeah. I was like, where are the computers? She goes, they're right there. And she pointed at, the, at a bunch of monitors. I was like, yeah, but where are the computers? She's like, right there. I was like, <laughs> and I was wasn't like, Adam Baird in our office too? I was like, too? do you know what a computer is? And I was like, yes. And then I started pointing started at like pointing random at objects. He was like, like, is that a computer? 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 <laughs> I understand. The day Bethany learned the monitor is separate from the computer. You probably I know, use now. laptops a lot. I yeah. Assume. Mostly and that laptops. Was thing. So it's all like you were, that was when we were sharing an office and you had my back on that. Yeah. I picked her up. I know now. I made that mistake before when I, I was like like seven. <laughs> but you did point to this. You pointed to this, and I was like, "Yes." Yeah, that, yeah that's phone's a computer, right? Probably. I got so. a new uh, MacBook Air through work, and I'm I'm afraid to look at porn on it. I don't think I will. I think I'll just Is keep it a work phone. because Laptop. it's work? Yeah, but I like you know I take it home because I got to do like screenplays and shit like that. You know when you take it home, that doesn't become like the personal laptop. <laughs> that's why he's not looking porn. at porn on it. That's why uh, I'm not looking at porn on it, yeah. Incognito <laughs> Windows. Still, I'm pretty sure Baird can work some wizardry. I'm pretty sure he knows Adam everything Baird about and Adam all of us. have seen my nudes, too. Yeah, he knows everything Dude, about well, all how, of us. How would they have seen your nudes? Because uh, there was them? one time where I was logged on. So we have two different Wi-Fis. We have a guest, and then we have a normal one. I'm not going to say what the names are. Or the passwords, because that'd be wrong. <laughs> Great job, Blaine. So, Thank you for being I'm, so... I'm not going to give my bank account and my PIN number. Or my social security Just number. Just to be clear, you're not going to find out that information on this podcast. <laughs> so anyways, I uh, I was on there, and there was an email where they are like, hey, everybody, switch personal computers and laptops to the guest account. You know, we're taking up too much bandwidth in the, in the main whatever one. And I was just like, uh, delete email, and just, you know, whatever. And then, um, like... Later, later on, I don't know how they found out, but uh, they were like, you need to take your phone off. And the, it was the fact that they specifically knew it was my phone. And then there was like something else that made it evident that like they had seen something. What, 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 is, your, what, what is your phone named? Blaine's iPhone, I assume. Uh, That's probably how they knew. I think it might be Batman's iPhone. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, look it up. Siri, what's my name? <laughs> You're Blaine. But since we're friends, I get to call you Batman. <laughs> oh my god. That is so stupid. That's, oh, you're such that's a fucking pathetic. nerd. <laughs> that's really stupid. Blaine. It's really bitten me in the I ass you, a couple but... times where it's... I'll be like, hey, you know, call 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 Lana, and then it'll be like at a Barnes and Noble, it'll be like, sorry, Batman. And it'll be like, shut, shut up. <laughs> you're the one talking to your phone in a Barnes and Noble. You still go to Barnes and Noble? <laughs> So many things wrong with the story. Oh God! <laughs> uh, I hate people who you see walking around in the grocery store or like out in public, and they're like on speakerphone walking. I around hate that. I'm not that asshole. I'm not that asshole. It sounded like you were, but Except why do people do that? I don't know. So because people fucking so suck. Like literally doing this, if you're walking around, is the same thing as doing this. You're still holding it. You're yeah. Still talking I, into you just it. don't hear the I other person. Think, like if I'm carrying something heavy. Yeah, but the phone has to be down. But you're right, still and then I, and then I go. It. <laughs> and then I hold it down. I'm Batman, it. stop it! Yeah, yeah. Batman, your biceps are too big for me to balance on. <laughs> oh, Siri, <laughs> stop it, you. Do you use a normal Siri voice? I don't know. You tell me. The default was it? Was that the normal one? 
That sounded like yes. it. Yeah, I think so. The, oh. I, I use the... Uh, is it British? Male. There's a, like, male British, male Australian, female British, female Australian, and then American male and female, oh, I think. Oh, I should do Australian. That's fun. Yeah, I used the female British for a while. Someone in broadcast is saying that uh, they see idiots hold that way, hold it that way on reality shows. Like, oh. It's like when they film reality shows so they can hear both sides. That's true. Oh, yeah. So maybe that's why they, they do that. They don't yeah. want to pretend. Yeah. Except it's not nearly as interesting when I have to listen to that shit. The other day, I had a really weird interaction at Best Buy. Of course, right? Me, I had a weird interaction at Best Buy. I, had to, I was going to buy some monitors for my office. And you I mean computers? Computers or monitors? Monitors. I need a monitor that had DVI and HDMI connections. So I walk over to Best Buy and I'm looking at their monitors. And I don't see any. So I'm like looking up on the shelf. And I'm wearing like kind of like this, like a long sleeve gray shirt. I'm looking up at the monitors, and this older woman approaches me from the left, and, and it's like, hello, good afternoon. And I look over at her, I'm like, oh, she, she must be talking to someone over on my other side. I look around, like, all right, she's talking to someone else. And I'm still looking at the monitors, and she walks up to me and is like, oh, are you helping someone? <laughs> I was like, I don't work here. I'm wearing a, I'm, no? What were you wearing? A, gr a gray long sleeve shirt. Do they I still wear the blue Buy? shirts? Yeah, they still wear the blue shirts at Best Buy. And I was like, I don't work khakis. here. And the yeah. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Then she like wanders off hmm. and I don't see the monitor I'm looking for. So I like call an employee over and I'm like, hey, do you have any monitors with DVI and HDMI? And then I hear that woman behind me again like, oh, yeah, monitors with HDMI are hard to find. And I turn around like, the f uh, okay, so I'm ignoring her. And uh, the uh, employee's like, well, uh, no, we don't have any that have both of those. Then she's like, you can use an adapter and plug it in. I'm like. Lady, you can't tell if I work here or not. Why the fuck are you trying to help me buy this? What is she? What's appearance? After that, then the guy who yeah. was helping you is like, by the way, there was a woman who died here seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> she still haunts these stores. I was going to say, like, what does she look like? Was she older or younger? Yeah, it's like an, an older woman. Mm. Mm. Maybe, it, it, you know, it could be one of those things, I and like I think Aaron's version. talked about him on the podcast. <laughs> it's just one of those people that is just desperate for social. Yeah. Interaction. She probably wasn't there for any reason other than to talk to people. Yeah, because <laughs> we got a dude at our uh, apartment, and we call him Thanks, Time Guy. I love that guy. Yeah, and well, he scares the shit out of me because he's like he hides sometimes, but he'll <laughs> always just ask, "Do you have the time?" Just like that, every single time. It's like oh. a fucking voice recording or a robot, and you always just like, "Yeah, it's, it's ten nineteen. He's like, "Oh, the day is passing by," and then that's yeah. the extent of the conversation. There was there was one time, <laughs> time where uh, I was walking out of the apartment with Aaron. And he's like, oh, there's that guy. And he like pulled out his phone mm -hmm. and he goes, it's 419. And like we keep walking and he goes, oh, thank you. Like, <laughs> like was like, already ready to go. Aaron's such a cunt. I was with him one time too. <laughs> and, and we were walking by and then Aaron was like, hey, do you have the time? And then the guy was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like he did his program. Did I tell you about the time that I had to share the elevator with him? Oh, fuck. It's, it that's so, the worst. I saw him coming in and he like. Bless his heart, he's a very sweet man, but he's very old and he's like literally at a 90 degree angle, Aww. like how he walks, he's so mm -hmm. old. And I saw, like I was waiting at the door to get in, to be buzzed in, and I saw him walk in from the other door from the pool, and so he had no shirt on, no shoes on, and had just his swim trunks. But one of his swim trunks, the legs, had ridden up into oh kind of his crotch area. So like, you saw scrub? I didn't see anything, but Aww. it was very close. And I was just like, I'm like, even if I get buzzed in, I'm gonna wait a second so he could take the elevator, and I don't have to like be awkward and ride up the elevator with him. <laughs> and so like, I saw him like walk past the door, and I assumed went into the elevator, went upstairs. And so I waited a couple seconds, and then I went in. And then, as the elevator door is closing, I guess he sees me. And he goes, "Oh, going up!" And I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> okay." Aww. So I get in the elevator with him, and. Like I ride up to Aaron's floor and the entire time we're just sitting there silent and he just goes, well, going up, riding that elevator. Oh. And I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Bless his little heart. And I'm just like, you're so sweet, but I don't know how to make small talk with you and I could kind of see your junk. Yeah. I'm sorry. He does that. <laughs> what did it look like? Yeah. Old. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Like old and wrinkly. Gray. I, yeah. I think I've told this before, but like there was one time where I was in a rush to get to work and I was just like tired and shit. And I ran into the elevator and like our elevators are like, it's a box. How do I visualize this? Oh, fuck. Anyways, there's an like elevator a, that's a box. It's, okay, it's, this it's is a, difficult. It's but a rectangle. Elevator. There's a rectangle. Uh -huh. And then like, let's say that the door's like left justified. So then there's like this little wall here, right? So you got this little corner in the elevator that you can't see from the outside. So I like haul ass into the elevator because I'm, you know, got to get going to work. 
and the guy's like basically like pinned up in, in that corner mm. and I didn't see him and I was just my my uh, eyes were on my phone he's like yeah the time and I was like ah! <laughs> <laughs> just the shit out of me <laughs> you know that's why he was in there he was waiting for that <laughs> time what if he just rides that elevator up and down all day what if he is father time He's just an internal like <laughs> being. He just he doesn't die. That place has been around since what? I think sixty six. Probably longer. He's, yeah, he's been there forever. <laughs> yeah, he's he in alone? fact here on uh on the probably. Time guy? I mean, he's always he's doing laps in that pool. Yeah. every day. There's a lot of old people. That live on, there. So he's just on retired. On there. Twitter, uh, your boy Guzma said you should call him Father Time. Father Time. And then uh, Andy mate says he has no idea why you don't use British male Siri and pretend it's Alfred. Do that. Sorry, didn't mean to derail. I thought I, I knew that that would. I got to fix it. Because then he'll now. say, "Yeah, Batman, 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 mod so, cocaine." I noticed that in the Batman Lego Movie, Ray Fiennes did the voice of Alfred, but they also had Voldemort in there. Who did the voice for Voldemort? Let's find Let's out. Let's look it up. Because like, Ray Fiennes is Voldemort, so it was like really weird for me. Uh, does anybody here watch Better Call Saul, or am I the only one? I watched the I first watched the episode. First season. Oh. Mail. The first episode. Season three starts again tonight. Mail. That's one I'd like to catch up on. To download this voice. What? I have to download the voice. Did you end up starting Big Little Lies? Like we just no, started? I haven't seen it yet. You should watch it. Bethany and I finished it's Big Little Lies. So good. Man, why are all the ladies? But I, I, was Eddie Eddie I think I was one of the only ones that cried though, right? You didn't. You said Eddie you didn't Izzard. cry. I didn't cry. I think it's because I why is it kind of like figured out what was, was going to happen, so it wasn't too much of a shocker to me. Yeah. You don't know? It's not ringing a bell. What are you doing? Was he in? Eddie Izzard was Voldemort. Oh yeah. Okay. Interesting. You don't know Eddie Izzard? He had this comedy special in the late 90s everyone loved. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Kids these days, on do you this, have the time? On this podcast, people who are way younger than me, apparently. I'm over 30 at least, so. Oh! Did you get it? There you go. Yeah, that's nice. Do, do it again. Ask, uh, uh, do the same thing you did earlier with your name. Yeah. Hey, Siri, what's my name? You're Blaine. But since we're friends, I get to call you Batman. Ah, uh, Batman. Thank you, Alfred. That sounds better. That's great. So, Blaine, have you watched Big Little Lies? No. I the only exposure that I've had to it is you guys tweeting about it, and then I thought it'd be funny. I was really tired, and I was like, "Hey, oh, that's you right. Sad. I forgot. I buy you some Big Little <laughs> fries. fries." I remember that. I was pretty proud. That was actually really good. Went to bed with a smile on my face. Day complete. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> Good job. Buddy. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm I'm running on about 45 minutes. Yeah, I was about to ask you. I am. What's low what's on going sleep. on? I'm low on sleep. Why? Uh, I was up late last night writing. I I am the worst procrastinator, and it doesn't help that sometimes when I'm procrastinating, I masturbate, and I call that procrastination. Uh, I just I feel like I, I, I literally thing. and figuratively fuck myself when I need to do something. You just do this. How many times did you procrastinate last night? Oh shit. I say like three or three times. Three times. Three times? Do you do it back to back to back to back, or do you take a break? No, I take a break. There's a the refractory period for okay, me. Okay, like an I intermission. Mean, yeah, like back when I was like 18, I could be like, oh, let's keep going. Yeah. But oh, now it's still I'm hard. Like, keep no, going. Now I'm like, do you have the time? And then I, you know. I this week was like, I was like super horny this week. I don't know why. That happens. Yeah, like every single person I saw, I'm just like, are you about to start your period? Like, fuck you. No. Hmm. What is is Aaron out of town? He is. Mm. What? That's, there you go. He has been out of town for a couple weeks. I know that what happens to to women chemically that causes that sometimes. Like I or I know of situations that will cause that level of horniness. But I don't know why is it. What? <laughs> what? So, can, can they just can't get horny. Like it has to be like a process. It's a chemical. No, system. no, no, no. Like there's like okay. Uh, oh shit! I shouldn't do that. Um, a girl can be aroused whenever. Oh god! I shouldn't be talking about women. Anatomy no, I am right curious because you probably know more about the uh, women's anatomy than I. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you, you started all. it. You brought this up. I'm really curious to see this hole you're digging yourself into. Well, no, so like sometimes <laughs> women can be more horny or whatever whenever they're like closer to their period. You know. Yes. So, so yeah, like true. that's a hormones. situation, right, where yeah. hormones are coming to play. Chemically, they are more aroused. What's the situation where the dudes are like that? It's called being awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> being conscious Do you over have the laugh age track of town. <laughs> That's fucking you set it up and I just fucking pay it off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's it's weird because I'm not even close to my mm -hmm. period, so there's no reasoning for it, but it's just like literally yeah. I, there are times, it doesn't happen often, but there are times when I get into a state of mind where I look at like anything that moves and I'm just like you want I it? could fuck that. Yeah. I could <laughs> Fuck that. Jeez, Barbara. Like it's and then not... it says, do you have the time? <laughs> 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 uh, 
Even him? Have you thought of him that way? Mr. Time? Oh, old Father man. Time. Father Time? No, not yet. Okay. I want because aphrodisiacs, that's a thing, right? Like foods that make you well, like. Well, I mean, they say that it is, but I've never known like that. Like eating to be oysters true. or some eating shit. Eating oysters, lavender. That the smell of lavender is that for guys? Like, yeah. that's for, no, no, no. We already went over what it is for guys. I think it's guys. because like, we have like a good sexual level. Yeah. So, like, we're always kind of in that state yeah. of like ready to go. Yeah, I am. But some people are not. There, yeah. So, you said uh, oysters. And when you think about this story I read earlier today, I, I'm looking it up right now, but Which there was this like guy Spanish. in Australia. I think he was in the Gold Coast who was. <laughs> At the beach, <laughs> eating at a nice restaurant, he had by himself. He ate a six hundred dollar meal. Did you read this? this? Yeah, six hundred twenty one dollars. He ate two lobsters, twenty one vodka oyster shots, a baby octopus, uh, and a bunch of beers. And then when it came time to pay, he ran down to the beach and swam out into the ocean <laughs> <laughs> to like get away 21, from the bill. Twenty one <laughs> vodka oyster the, shots. The guy Fuck. ate and drank a how, ton. How far could he have possibly gotten? <laughs> they said they caught him in the water <laughs> and arrested him. <laughs> Yeah. They what caught him that? before he drowned. I How read many? up on that guy. Apparently, God. he's like a rapper, and his name is like Tupac or something. Yes, Tupac. <laughs> like that Piece Tupac. Of shit. Ha, aside from the vodka, what else did you say he drank? Uh, beer. Uh, some beers. It doesn't say how many. He's beers. Some beers. wasted. Have you ever? Uh, what's it called when you dine and dash? Dine and yeah. dash. Yeah. No. yeah. Have you ever? I've you never ever done that. No. Never ever. That's just no. me. I'm an no. upstanding American citizen. How many times have you done it? <laughs> never, Morty. There's even been situations I've been in where it's just That's like they would never know if we just like there's mm -hmm. no no server hasn't been by in like yeah. an hour. I, I, yeah. I even you know when I pay and I'm walking out of a restaurant, I'm always nervous. Like they know I paid, right? Me too. Like, yeah, they're, they're not going to stop me. Yeah, exactly. that's why you hold your seats. And I always throw them away. I always yeah, lose I them like instantly. Just like or I, I just don't keep my copy. I've been doing a, the thing where I, I make it a policy to where if I go to a bar and I'm closing out, I'll sign the receipt and then I always take mine just so that they. Can't mess with the because they should can... do that because that happened to me during South by. Did it really? Yes, How much? we went to the Snoop Dogg concert first, and, and it was free alcohol first to begin with. And then they don't tell you that it switches over after. So we all went to the bar, and since I was up front, I ordered drinks for like eight of us or something maybe not eight, six people or something. And she's like, That'll be $45 or whatever it was. And I was like, Okay, I, I guess they're not free anymore. So I paid for them. And then when I got my bill, so I probably tipped 18, 20%. Yeah, um, and my bill was over a hundred dollars, but what? I never keep the receipt and I didn't want to fight it over what 45 or 50 bucks Whatever the difference would have been. Yeah. I just was mad at myself. So I started thinking I should start keeping my receipts Yeah, I was really night, mad about that end of the night when I'm drunk I'm just like I just like pull up, put my hands in my pockets and I just pull out just like paper just like, yeah, and That really have, has never happened to me before but I'm I want to start keeping my receipts now We have an expense tracking system that we use for work for business related expenses And I love it for that reason because yeah. we take photos of our receipts yeah. So I should use that yeah, so I'm now wondering I wonder if you could use that personally to there just, has like, to be something. That way you can see, save your receipts without yeah. having to keep all the paper or and shit around. Or even just take a picture. a picture of what you leave on the table. Yeah, but then they, just like that's in your, your photo photos. album. I guess then you'd there have to make to a special something album. Similar like to what we use. To, if you needed to argue it, like if someone, let's say, put like an extra, oh, that made like, me so mad. An extra zero Think of how many tip. people, if I was sober and that happened to me and I don't keep my receipt, think of how many people, you know, were tipsy or drunk and yeah. like they Maybe just took advantage of everyone. Maybe some people put stuff on your tab? No, I mean, that was the only thing I paid for and closed out right oh, away. Wow. Okay. Oh. And I know what up. the price was. I remember thinking, oh, for six drinks, it was like $45, whatever. Like, I'm just going to pay for it. I'm not going to argue. She already poured them and then told me that there was the charge. Yeah. And so I'm just not, not going to be an asshole. But then turns out they were the fucking assholes. Yeah, yeah. you were still really nice if you tip 20%. Yeah, I try. What What's your policy? I always just do a buck per drink. Oh, yeah. I mean, in that situation... And beer. If, it depends how difficult depends. the drink was to make. If it's like one of those really... If it's just beer, it'd be a dollar per That's drink, awesome. generally. If it was like a really but... crafty cocktail, I'll usually do at least two bucks. And yeah. the thing is, I tipped 20% because I felt like, oh, there's a lot of assholes in here. Like, I feel bad. You know, and you the end of South the by. Assholes. And then, like, they just totally screwed me over. Yeah, I never get fancy drinks, so normally I stick with a buck a drink. Yeah. What What That's fancy really drink weird. would you get? Uh, the fanciest drink I'll probably get is like a Moscow Mule, maybe. Hey, I love Moscow Mules. I, I'll normally just do like Thank vodka you. soda or gin and tonic. Like, yeah, that's yeah. It, like something and something, like just two things in a glass. Vodka soda is like my go-to to get junk drink. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's my go-to every night. Yeah, drink every night. <laughs> this is my go-to-sleep drink. You're more of a gin drinker, though. I, I prefer gin, but I normally drink vodka. Why? Um. Because I'm a cheapskate and Tito's is really cheap. <laughs> I have... Because well, if you're drinking gin and we want Hendrix or right. something. 
I have more alcohol than pretty much anybody that I know. Like, uh, I almost have like a full liquor cart's worth. Oh, like own at your house? Yeah, just because it's like, it's just been collecting. And like, yeah. I'll get it as a gift and I just, I don't drink, you know, except for when I'm like going out with friends and I, I don't pregame as much anymore because I'm not a fucking college kid. So I just like, I'm accumulating drinks. I should just donate them to Aaron. Or the events office. Or bring We've them here to the podcast. Yeah, to, to the office. Mm. I, I guess I should do that. Or just Aaron. I gotta look it up, but I think I saw... Like last year, or maybe the year before, I saw uh, a crowdfunding campaign for basically it was like this giant box that you put all your liquor bottles into, mm -hmm. and it it basically can make any cocktail that you want. Like you tell it what you want, wow. then based on the the alcohols that it has in it, it'll make you that drink. Oh, cool! Uh, let me see if I can look it up. That's uh, that's incredible. Crowd fund bartender. Oh, and did you see that fucking asshole? Oh, well, I looked this up. That guy who wanted to crowdfund a, an engagement ring for his girlfriend. Yeah. Dickhead. He wanted $15,000. No. And he has, what, like $600 right Something now? like that. Yeah, there it is. It's, uh, what is this? Soma Bar, robotic bartender for your home. Soma Bar. People, people what is this? Kickstarter. People gave him over $300,000 on Kickstarter. Is what he, was his goal? Uh, $50,000. Wow. So he's, it's, it's happening then, right? Uh, it still says pre-orders, which makes me think they haven't fucking made it. When did this end? Man, when I don't trust it? Kickstarter as much. Like <laughs> Estimated delivery, January 2015. There it is. Jesus. <laughs> like, I think Rooster Teeth does right by the people that back us on, on Kickstarter and Indiegogo, yeah, for we're, sure. Yeah, we're doing great. But I, every time I followed anybody else, I've gotten fucked. I got, I got, so the only Kickstarter project I backed other than anything from Rooster Teeth was, um, do you know that comic with a dog that says this is fine in the yeah. whole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they were making plushies of that dog. I saw those, yeah. And I ordered one, <laughs> and I did like there was like the base level where it was like twenty five bucks for just the plushie, or thirty five dollars, and you get like some stickers and like some other cool stuff. So I did that, and I it came, and it's great, and you I love it. it. I have that one of those. Bad. Yeah, That's I have one of those too. Be. Well, it was Esther cute. Does. Yeah, it's I, one of my favorite like internet memes. I so. gave forty bucks to a movie that a bunch of my friends are making. I'm still waiting on that shirt. I I paid for a movie ticket last night. I was gonna go see Your Name. We, we kind of like. I was kind of bad and it was, didn't it's want you to go. Kind of Bethany's fault. What? She owes me money from it, technically. Um, well, I bought having <laughs> too much fun. And I was like, isn't it time to go to your movie? Oh, I don't think you're going to make it. I bought, a, I bought a ticket for a seven o'clock show for a movie. And I was out with Bethany and Patrick Matthews and some other people. <laughs> and like me, Bethany, and Patrick ended up hanging out. And they're like, don't you have a movie at seven? And it was 6 30. And I was like, eh. yeah, I'm just not going to go. I just assumed initially it was at the closer new location, so yeah. I didn't really. I mean, when you have to drive, it's kind of uh, it's kind of bleh. Yeah. The theater's friggin' tight. It's great. Yeah, I love Alamo. That's like that it's is really definitely fun. one of the best parts of living in Austin. They have them around in other places, but we have like what six Alamo theaters. Except oh, when you fall asleep like and they. Oh, what happened with that? You. I meant to ask. Whoa! Well, yeah, first of all, she was this. seeing. Boss Baby. I, Why? I regret all of it. <laughs> Why were you seeing Boss Baby? <laughs> because we'd seen pretty much everything else there, and that was the, the only thing. No, no, no. This was Alex and Clarissa. Okay. We'd had like the a half team. day events team building day, mm -hmm. and like bullying and other stuff had like gone by very quickly. So we were like, we could go see a movie, and this could be the last thing that we do for the day. And there was just nothing else showing, uh, or we'd seen them all. So we're like, oh, the boss baby. Like, it, maybe we'll just order dinner and like, it won't be that bad. Like, let's let's just go to eat, and if we want to leave, we can leave. But I like ordering food at Alamo. We always yeah. talk about this. Like, food. if we want like something for dinner, but we don't want to cook, but we don't want to just sit somewhere, we'll go and just. Well, it feels like a treat too. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to just sit there, especially the new location. So we went, and it was a long day, and I was tired, and eventually I like dozed off, and I fall asleep in every fucking movie. By the way, like it doesn't matter. I just I fall asleep in movies. And eventually someone came over and like tapped Alex and was like, you need to wake your friend up. Like, this is illegal. It's considered a bar. She needs to wake up. And I woke up and he like looked at me in this really mean way. And I was so disturbed by the whole thing. Was like, he a worker? Yeah. I mean, technically it is illegal to sleep I at bars. I get that, but like people fall asleep in movies all the but time. What's the also, issue? it was called The Boss Baby and there were tons of kids. Don't <laughs> tell me that one of them wasn't fucking asleep. Right. You should be like, or uh, the parent, me, or something to take a break. Wake up your three-year-old. I could have been the only person. I, I'm still no, they were right. Them. They were right to wake you up. I'm why? on their side. I'm still it's trying to wrap like my head around why. Like, what's the issue? You can't be asleep at a bar. You can't be asleep at a bar. So what? Because because then they'll, they'll, that is they'll, a law. They'll like, think that you're drunk and you shouldn't be served. Okay. You, you can't it, have a kid yeah, at a bar thank either. You. I That's know. a good point. But you can't have kids at a bar. So what? What? Had you been Have you been drinking alcohol? I mean, it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter though. 
But I mean, I had a half a glass of champagne still left. Like I was tuckered out. It was a long afternoon. So you had ordered alcohol there. So there you go. Well, that's that's making more sense, I guess. But I, feel I like fall asleep in movies like... all the time. You keep if, saying that. I, if I know, Bruce asked me to go to a movie that I don't want to see, I'm like, sure, I, I could really use a nap. Nap. Yeah. Man, Lost I, Baby, uh, by the way, has made eighty nine million dollars in the U S. It's uh, up to two hundred million worldwide. I I kind of dozed off at a movie one time. Had you ordered really... alcohol? No, uh -huh. I was just. It was a ten o'clock showing, and I had been up since I think like five thirty or six because we had like an early call time for a shoot, and so I was just exhausted. But we had already bought the tickets for it, and it was. I felt so bad. It was a Master Pancake show, mm. Ooh. and I fucking love those. And like, I I think it was just like. I just wasn't into it as much as I should have been, and I was tired, and it was 10 o'clock, so like by the time things started going, it was 10.30, and then it was like... What movie was it? I don't even remember. Mm. Um, I can't remember the last one. It was either Braveheart... Braveheart, because I was at that one with you, yeah. and I think I fell asleep too. And we were so tired. I was drinking. <laughs> Hear that, John Earler? They didn't scold no, me that it was night. No, it was a great... Uh, Master Pancake, if you're ever in Austin, go see Master Pancake. It's, it's fun. It's one of the best parts of going to the Alamo and experiencing Austin. But it was just one of those situations where I was enjoying it, but I was just so fucking tired, mm -hmm. so I like... I'd be like this and be like, ha ha ha, like laugh with everyone, <laughs> and then be like, like go back to sleep, like to make sure no one was looking at me. You're but if class. everyone started laughing, yeah. I would start laughing too to make it seem like I was awake. <laughs> That's something I do when I'm intoxicated. Probably. Yeah. I'd be like, ha uh ha. -huh. They don't suspect a thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm blending laughing in. when they laugh. <laughs> it's a perfect disguise. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not saying it was the main reason we broke up, but. <laughs> This there was a young lady that I was dating, and it didn't work out, and it didn't help that she fell asleep during both Alien and Aliens. Oh. How do you do that? Was it back to back, or were they at different times? They were at different times. I was like, what oh, let's time? watch Alien. I love Sigourney Weaver. It's the best. She's like, yeah, yeah. Look over. And I was like, whatever. Mm. And she was like, well, yeah, I, you, I've already seen it. It was years ago. I was like, okay, all right. Well, then let's watch Aliens then. <laughs> ah, come on. There was, there's some people who get, and I'm one of those people who, if... Let's say I'm like, oh, let's watch this movie, and I'm with Aaron, and he falls asleep while we're watching that movie. I'll get so fucking angry. I'm like, no! He never falls asleep, but just yeah. as an example. Yeah. There's some people who get really pissed off if like their friend or, or significant other is on, on their phone mm -hmm. or falling asleep, and you're just like, no, I want you to experience this. If it's something this. you really want someone to see, then it's, yeah. it's annoying. Yeah. I'm pretty and engaged in movies, yeah. Like, it doesn't ruin my experience of watching it, because they're mm -hmm. not making noise or bothering me, but it's like... The fact that they're not paying attention yeah. or watching it, I'm just like, this, I'm so annoyed by that. Yeah. I went to um, a South by movie. It was a premiere for Atomic Blonde, and I'm not going to say who it was, but Same. I was with a Rooster Teeth employee who was on his fucking phone, <gasps> and the cast and director and the crew were sitting like two rows back. It was Bernie. When Bernie? Gavin? <laughs> Sales department. <laughs> okay. 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 That's all I'm going to say. But I was just like, I was just like, mm -hmm. oh, God. And then, and we were sitting in the oh, middle, okay. and then in the middle of it, he gets up and he like, he, uh, he is a he. shit, <laughs> and and he he uh, like started Alan, walking over Alan people to get to the acting. aisle to take a phone call. It was the most embarrassing thing ever. I was just like, that sounds cringing. like Alan. You got to get called out. Well, Alan, especially at South by when it's like this is the premiere of a movie or like it's a big deal that yeah. they're mm -hmm. showing their movie We're, there. It's and you're on your movie too. Phone. What uh, what theater was that? Paramount was that? Were they, were they, was it Paramount? I think it was Paramount. Oh. For state Paramount, yeah. I think it's Paramount. So I saw Hardcore Henry last year. Yeah, uh, that's, was it, that's was a, I really show? like that movie. Me too. Yeah. I love. I haven't I really watched it like since that. the premiere. I should watch it again. Oh, yeah, I kind of want to see it again. I uh, I don't know. Like I kind of got a little ugh, by the end of it. Were you sitting because close? of the motion sickness? I was like off to the side. I think, I think we were sitting we, together. I think we, we sat really together. close to each other. Did do we hold hands? No, like you sat next to me for a little while, then I made you move because you kept trying to grab my dick. Right, 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 right. To the popcorn. I remember yeah, that. Yeah. 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 It was a magical it's moment. Good times, good times. I was distracted from that. So thank from you. From that. Yeah. yeah movie um, theaters are perfect for hand jobs. They are. How do you know? I mean, I don't. I'm just saying they would be. I'm always asleep, so I don't know. Just get a little bit of that, <laughs> that tug. I uh I don't think I've ever done anything sexual in a movie theater before. I think a movie theater is like I I respect a movie theater almost like, as much as people respect a church. Because mm -hmm. it's just like it's like that to me, it's like a museum almost. Unless it's like a really oh. fucking bad movie, like I once, Boss Baby. Like, I, I, once Boss Baby. Uh, I once did it doggy <laughs> style. The kids the are... You once did it you doggy style. You did doggy theater. style? I'm totally fucking with you. Uh, oh, I've never God, done anything. Oh, shit. Barbara oh, got oh, I got Barbara you. Did it. It. You believe me? It was, it was doing doggy style <laughs> yeah. in a movie. It was really missionary. Let's not go crazy. Oh, yeah. The total misdirection. I ordered 
the other day was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. I don't know how this happens. I was uh, I was watching TV and I saw a commercial for uh, Rogue One out on Blu-ray now, right? It's like, oh shit, Rogue One! Like, uh, I want to buy the Blu-ray. So like, I load up uh, Amazon on my phone. Like, I'm just gonna buy the Blu-ray. Have it shipped here. They're out of stock. Yeah, they went through the same thing. Mine's on back order right now. How the fuck does that happen? I don't know. They they did a, a week uh, previous of just digital. And and you can buy a digital, but I, I I can't stand digital media. I have to own physical. Yeah, digital's fine, but I like I prefer physical because it looks better. Yeah, like in a pinch, if I want to stream it, sure, fine, whatever. But it, it's really it always looks better on go, disc. Go through the same thing. Piss me off. Uh, here I want to remind everyone: this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Movement Watches. Uh, absolutely love the watch they sent me. It's sleek, stylish, and I always get. T oh, look at you, you got one on too. I always get tons of compliments when I wear it out. Movement was started by two broke college kids that wanted to wear stylish watches, but couldn't afford them, so they started their own watch company. Watches start at just $95. At a department store, you're looking at $400 to $500. Bucks. Movement figured out that by selling online, they were able to cut out the middleman and retail markup, providing the best possible price. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmtwatches.com slash rooster. That's mvmtwatches.com slash rooster. Join the movement. I've got the uh, black one with the brown band. It looks like, like you have a rose gold one. one. Mine's guys rose gold good. with the pink band. Um, I've just loved it. I kind of wear it like every day. Oh, look, yeah. look at that Wait, beauty shot. Uh, Plus oh. It's very you. Uh, it should be a hand model. Look well, at that. I've been told that before. Bethany has very like beautiful long fingers. I could play the piano because of my long yeah. fingers. What What would you be a model of if you had to like designate a certain like thing that you Champagne. can model? <laughs> A How do you, how's, who, what's a champagne model do? About body parts, Any but. champagne product I could model. Model that, that would... bottle right there. Model that bottle. Ba, 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 ba. Wait, what I don't know. I have to think about. I mean, well, no, that, I could do that for you. I could think of something to bottle. do with it. <laughs> oh, Shall that I, kind of model. My parents might be watching. Your parents are first members. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta like show it off like Vanna White. It where you're just like. I mean, like any product, like. <laughs> You got you so got, give me that bottle. You got Barbara and I our first shambongs. You're constantly if you see something a new article about champagne, you're always sending them to me. One of the good ones. The we we recently had the champagne flavored nail polish, which is just fucking Gross. disgusting. What? Because you don't want to like. Why would I want to bite flavored? off my nail polish? Yeah. Flavored, not scented. No flavored. flavored. That's stupid. That's dumb. Like your fingernails underneath them are dirty as it is and mm. like not clean all the time. And then like, why would I want to bite off the color like just to have a taste of champagne? Lip gloss always kind of confounded me. Like Dr. Pepper flavored lip gloss. That always filled with the fingernails. The Dr. Pepper lip gloss actually it, was really if good. If you like the taste, and it is really good. Shh, yeah. Gross, From lip, what's it called? Lip smacker? Lip smacker. Because by yeah. the end of it, you're just like. No, you don't do that. It's more of just you no. put it on and it smells good and every time you happen to be talking and like a little bit of your lip goes in your mouth. I think one of the funnier ones it. you sent me was that champagne gun. Oh, right. I forgot about that. It was that. like a champagne water gun, but it was a lot more intense. It's like what just happened earlier when I sh when I opened that bottle. <laughs> I uh, have a first for the podcast. I have to pee real bad. <gasps> you knew this was going to happen. I did. I tweeted about it earlier. Today's you never have? Days. I've oh, never dude. left the podcast. I forgot to, to get pee. you the, the diapers. Bethany is going to buy me some depends before the I've wanted to do a challenge to see who could last the longest or pee the fir pee first in a diaper. I, I, it I, me. I had to uh, leave a post show the other week when Jessica Negri was here because I was going to shit my pants. I remember that. Oh. Dude, I almost shit my pants the other day too. I took gluten pills <laughs> after eating a large pizza and I was like, dude, it went you straight felt, through. You a little rumble, rumble in your yeah. tumble? Alana was like in the bathroom brushing her teeth, and I was like, she's like, I'm almost done. I was like, get out! <laughs> I made her You're like finish. pushing her down. I made her finish in the kitchen. <laughs> You're like the Lion King, or no, not the Lion, the fucking beast in Beauty and the Beast. Get, get out! out. <laughs> <laughs> you are not to be in the West Wing! <laughs> you, only, you only have one bathroom? Yeah. My old house was like that. I had one bathroom, and when I moved, uh, I was really happy, because my new place uh -huh. has three toilets in it. Oh my god. And I'm like, I'm set. I don't have to worry about anything like that ever three again. Three toilets? Like, Fucking living like a king. Yeah. Can I, I go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. You don't ask for permission. I thought okay. you were just gonna go when you need to go. I was go. actually thinking the other day that I hope you and Esther like are ready to buy a new house soon. That I can rent this one from you because I love the location and I think I would love the oh, floor plan. I know where it is no, and I've, I know been. how it looks. Like I've never been. I've never been. So while uh, while she's gone, I got a uh, quick thing to ask. Have I know you have not, but have you played any Mass Effect Andromeda? No, not yet. People keep asking. Uh, like I finally finished it. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. For a few minutes about it real fast. Um, Patching it, aren't they? Yes, there was a patch that came out already, and they announced like long-term plans to uh, address a lot of the issues that that game has. I am biased because I'm a huge fan 
of the Mass Effect universe. Mm. And um, I thought it wasn't a great game, but I think a lot of the criticism of it is overblown. Wasn't I, it just facial animation? Because Oh, like, no, there's, there's others. The game engine and the combat looks really pretty and pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, it's facial animation. Sometimes characters bug out. Uh, the camera bugs out. Shit doesn't load right. Uh, the, some of the writing is awful. Atrocious. Uh, but, I mean, I think... I, I was not a huge fan of the first Mass Effect game. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that they did something really good with 2 and 3. And I still like 3, even though people hated that. Um, but I think that they have... <laughs> I still think they released that game too early. I think if they had another couple months to polish it, it would have really been uh, a lot better. I'm trying to think of an example of another game that, that, that they did that to. Probably Battlefront. I'll say also, like, I mean, No Man's Sky. And I again, I, I thought No Man's Sky was fine when it came out, but yeah. they've done a lot to fix that. But Battlefront was the same way. It's like, and, and they said, that the frustrating thing was they said they were going to delay Andromeda as long as they needed to needed in order to fix it and make it right. It's still shipped fairly broken. Do you play any games at all, Bethany? You're just like, I looked over and you're just like... <sighs> I know, I fell asleep for a second. I thought it was another movie. Hey, you've been drinking? You need to stop doing that. Um, this is like a bar. There's a bar. It, look, look right behind you. <laughs> I don't play any video games, but I streamed with Bruce recently. Yeah? And <gasps> I think what do? I loved about it... Well, he was playing Zelda. He's pretty obsessed with it lately. Uh -huh. Great game. Um, but what I liked the most about it was interacting with the fans. To... <laughs> she was trying to be really stealthy about it. <laughs> like they were going to see you. <laughs> I liked interacting with the fans the most. Like it was easier for him to focus on the game mm -hmm. and I could read off what people were saying and like they were asking about RTX and all sorts of events, but That's cool. I don't know, like I get it. I get like what the hype is about. I just never, I mean, aside from being a kid and playing like Mario and I played the Lion King on Sega. That was something I played. I had that too. Did you ever um, play Aladdin on Sega? I don't think so. She was hard. Aladdin. It's like one of my favorite games as a kid. Maybe that my, and, and Cool Spot. I think my car cool Spot? Cool. Yeah. I've never heard anyone say Cool Spot was their favorite game. I loved Cool Spot and Toe Jam and Earl were like my fucking Toe Jam and Earl was awesome. Yes. I had a Spider-Man game with Carnage in it. That was pretty dope. Oh, and that fucking X-Men game too. That Which, brawler. Wasn't that, was there a console port of that or was that arcade? I had a console port. I think huh. it was on a Sega. Mm, okay. Did you guys ever play uh, Knights on the Dreamcast? I remember that, yeah. I yeah? I believe I did. That like oh, as I a thought kid, you were looking at me to ask me. No, was I was the, like, maybe you have. Dreamcast is the piece of shit that had the weird little window on the controller, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I would not have called it a piece of shit. Glorious console. I like was Dreamcast. Really? Yeah. yeah, Dreamcast was awesome. Dreamcast had a couple good games. I remember playing Knights as a kid and thinking like I was like seven or eight, maybe or maybe nine. Uh, when I played the Dreamcast, and I remember thinking, I was twenty-one when the Dreamcast came out. Oh. I remember thinking, <laughs> this is this is probably what it's like when you're like older and you do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a gateway to drugs for you. <laughs> As a kid, I was just like, I can't wait to do drugs when I'm older, so I can experience <laughs> nights Thanks, in real Sega. life. <laughs> hey, Bruce is coming in town this week, isn't he? He is tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna Yay. shoot some stuff with him. Your episode Yay. of uh, Relationship Goals come out comes out this week, I think, too. Yeah, on I the fourth. So I didn't know when it was coming out. I mean, they're monthly. Bruce, yep. Bruce I don't even know if they've announced that yet, but that's happening. Bruce saved oh. my ass. Yeah, I don't know if it's a secret. I don't think they have. Oh, okay. Way to ruin Whoops. it. Whoops. Okay. Way to go, Bernie. Go, go, Bernie. <laughs> Good. Bernie. <laughs> Someone has to play the spoiler. I don't even know. I didn't know when I, we shot it, but I didn't know when it was coming out. I don't keep up with this stuff. I'm horrible. It's the 14th of every month. Okay, 14th of every month. So this month. Yes. I think on this Friday. Week? Oh, on Friday. Cool. If my math is correct. We, uh, In my calculations. Esther, Esther and I are doing another one of our food streams tomorrow. Oh, yes. What are you going to eat? Uh, we're eating barbecue. Uh, it's called a mastication, you, mastication party. party. Where do you do those? Or right here in the, in the break room. People can't drop by. Yeah, drop oh, by. they absolutely can. Yeah, we'll and get yeah last time we got like queso and salsa oh. when they did the Mexican food one. Oh, that's yeah. And uh, we, I don't know if you saw it. We filmed uh, a little promo video for it. No, I did see it because I uploaded it to our <laughs> social media today. <laughs> it was so weird. Yeah. Like uh, uh, Nathan over in marketing asked us to make a video. I was like, sure. And I was like, we'll just do like a talking head thing. We say, you know, what it is when we're doing it. And Esther was like, I hate that. We need to do something good. <laughs> I was like, okay, what do you want to do? So she came up with a bunch of ideas. And then that's the one we ultimately settled on. Uh, Esther's fucking great. She's yeah. been getting into rocks and her and Twitter is like. They're minerals. They're minerals. Sorry. They're minerals, Blaine. They're like really. Cool pictures. And oh, yeah, yeah. I saw like you ask. Macro lens. Yeah, how she yeah. did it. She's I, I'm going to buy one on Amazon, I think. Yeah, she just has like some macro lens attachment that she puts on her phone uh, for that stuff. So, like, where do you guys store those? She's minerals. got like little uh, display boxes mm -hmm. that um, 
are just like they're on the table in the living room. Do you guys ever go to that place that's uh in Austin, the minerals place? The one real the close to here? The stupid fucking sign, yeah. Yeah, no, we went there once uh -huh. and we couldn't figure out why anyone would ever go there. Was it just not a good It's more idea? like Man. gems for like holistic healing. My, <laughs> like, my head just went through like a but like a list of names I would call my store if I sold those. Do you have one? We rocks your socks off. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm sorry I asked. Rocks Bar and roll. Rocks and roll. Barbara's the dad. <laughs> yeah. Barbara's the queen of dad jokes. Uh, no, like, I, I just felt like it, it's a weird place. I don't know why anyone would go there. It's That's just right. like crystals and shit. That's right next to the, is it, is it Lovers? What is it called? Crystal Palace. Dreamers. Dreamers. It's like a couple blocks up. Here you go, Dreamers. I've been to Dreamers I've been. before. Guys, are good Hell yeah, I've been there. Dreamers? No. What's Dreamers? Oh, it's fucking right. bullshit. You it's, blinked. It's, it's you went. No. <laughs> I haven't went. been to Dreamers. It's no. A sex, it's the sex shop. I don't need to go to a sex shop. You haven't been to a sex shop. I've been to a sex shop. I'm gonna take I just you to never Dreamers have tonight. gone to Dreamers. Let's go. Okay, let's see after the podcast. I've been there before. I we used to talk about are. where we wanted to go to dinner, and now let's talk about where we want to go. So, sex shop. Number one thing about going to a sex shop. Is you walk in there and you think, holy shit, I'm gonna get judged. This is gonna be like so awkward. Oh, I know. I wouldn't think that I going to a sex shop. No. It, it, the, after the first time of going in alone, I was just like, this is great. These people yeah. are very professional and kind and yeah. they're like really nice. But I did go in there and I had a really bad experience at the sex shop. So I went in and I was buying a gift for uh, my girlfriend at the time. And how big was it? I was looking for <laughs> well, what color was it? I, I was gonna say that. <laughs> Did I, was, it I was open to colors. I was open to, uh, to Girthiness? materials. No, so like I didn't want to give a dildo just because like that's that's for me. That's that's my area. But you know, if they want to do some you butt mean stuff, you things, want the dildo on you? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want the, I don't want anything in me. <laughs> I'm sticking the things in, in the in the in her things. So I, I don't want to give her a dildo because that's for me. That's literally what you that's said. Oh shit. Okay, said. no, no. Like as in I didn't <laughs> I don't want that hole plugged by dildo because that's that's my hole. Okay, that's that's yeah, your yeah. job. I yeah. claim that hole. You plug that hole yourself. The other hole, fair game. That's what I was there for. I was the gonna butthole. get some fun. Yes, the butthole. So I went in and I was looking for some specific things, you know. Like anal beads? Not anal like beads. A butt plug. Butt plug. Butt plug. Butt okay. So I was looking for. I like both. how you won't say it until someone else says it first. I you know. know. Just it's, say it's, it's like, it. oh, we're talking about sex shops. It is. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I, I got the got the. I was looking for butt plugs, but I was too shy to ask for help. And the lady saw me like wandering around like a fucking Aww, loser. She's, she's used like, to losers like you. you, probably. So she's like, "Hun, do you need some help?" And and then I went up and I opened up my mouth, <gasps> and then I realized she's gonna think that whatever I'm buying is it's for, for you. me. But who cares? Be because I immediately went into, "Oh yeah." This is this is for my girlfriend, and then she was like, "Oh, okay," and I'd be like, "Oh God, she she thinks it's for me. She thinks it's for me." I guarantee you, the great thing about sex shops and like anywhere you go, honestly, there's always going to be someone weirder than you who's oh, been yeah. there before who they've had. Yeah, to I, I was the only I one think, in the store. Yes, I don't think they give a fuck. They about don't give what a fuck. Buy. They're yeah. desensitized. But it's me that you're talking about here. So I'm I'm a fucking lunatic. So honestly, I think if I think. even if I was buying something for a boyfriend, I'd probably be like, "Yeah, I'm looking for this." Yeah. Like, well, chances are I won't see that person It sounds more anymore. fishy if you like have to follow it up with all of these reasons. <laughs> yeah, my friend. girlfriend. She lives in Canada. We met at Niagara Falls. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> but she, it went down that path. She said path, something though. about a, a a butt butt plug. A butt plug. I don't, a know, plug. That, I don't know what that is. But I'm not sure what a plug is. But it went down that path where I was like just like, oh, I'm looking for this for her. You know, and I kept on like adding that in, Aww. and then you know, and she'd be like, "Okay, well, you know." And I found the, the perfect set of butt plugs. It was great. Set. And um, <laughs> what do they look like? Oh, uh, they're nice little like I can't remember. It was a while ago. They're like you know, little spinning little spinning tops. Thank you. Oh, thank. How you. do you know this? Thank you. You know how he knows. Um, so I got a pack of three of various sizes, <laughs> and 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 they have little crystals on them. Nice little crystals. So it's fun, <laughs> something fun, mesmerizing to look at when I'm doing it. So then. Um, <laughs> And then I get up there and she was like, you know, we have a we have a student discount if you have your ID And I was like, oh, yeah, it's in my car So I like ran out to my car and I couldn't find it and then I came back in and I was like I, I don't have my ID, but I, I promise I'm a student and like it was just all of it was fishy I walked away. Just give me the butt plugs, man. I need the butt plugs. She totally thought that I was just plugging my own butt. What was the discount for being a student? It's like, a, it's like a good 10 15 percent. Oh you know, off of like a set of like sixty dollar butt plugs. Sixty dollars? Six dollars, man. I I treat 60. the. I know, but six dollars off. Oh, it's a it's a good deal for a student. I get I get the nicest quality butt plugs. I have awesome. never gotten a sex toy as a gift. I have. You have from someone who was not my boyfriend. Oh, this is a, a weird. So Whoa. I have a friend. Were you dating somebody when he gave it to you? No. Uh, yes. 
You know this person. <laughs> it's a it's a person we know who I've known for a very long time who works at Playboy. And this person had access to like all these things, like inventory of stuff that they would get at the company that was like still packaged, still new, but like nobody wanted or they had nothing to do with it. So he messaged me one day. He goes, do you want any of this stuff? And he like listed off a few things. And I was like, yeah, sure. Like send that over. So he just sent it to me in the mail. It wasn't like he like was like, here, tell me about this when you use it. Uh-huh. I yeah, was it's just, to, that's totally different than the scenario I had. Yeah, I had no, it was just like head. something I received in the mail. I'm just how, like, how long ago did this happen? Like three f- and a half years ago, okay, three, so four Aaron, years Aaron ago. Wasn't an Speaking of sex yet. toys, someone in my department, I won't say who. There's we all know who it is already. <laughs> you don't have to say <laughs> anymore. I know who it is. <laughs> she was just telling us that she oh. just ordered a new chest, like a like a chest like thing that you open and put things in and like close it mm-hmm. because. Her drawer, her like nightstand drawer is too heavy that things are falling out of the bottom <laughs> because of the sex toys. Whoa. That she has. This is what I don't get. This and and this is just speaking from personal. Experience. I know what you're going to say, and I'm probably going to agree with you. How many do you need? That's what I said. I was like, you, you after one thing, maybe two things. Like they're yeah. all the same. Yeah, something is, that gets the job done. No, yeah. I guess it's like maybe I don't know because I I have something that has like different power settings, spicing sure, up. and different like. Motions to sure. it, so it's like it's it's kind of like a I would say multiple thing in even one. the most experienced person five seems like plenty. So I don't know how many things that you have. Maybe that one that's like a surprise grab a bag, like you don't pick down. one, you like reach in and just yeah. grab whatever. Who's fucking me tonight? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna regret telling this. So I had a girlfriend a while ago, and we wanted to. It, we're in that relationship, that level in our relationship where we wanted to start incorporating toys and stuff like that. It wasn't growing stagnant. We just wanted to spice things up. So she had a, uh, I guess a dildo, but it was like, it was like a hard plastic one. So it was like small. It was kind of like, it was basically like a toothbrush, like a, like a motorized toothbrush. I like that wouldn't be. Was it that thin? Nice. It was, it was like a thin thing, but then it had a little bulb at the was end. Was it just a vibrator or was it an Yeah, I guess it was a vibrator, but yeah. it was like a hard plastic one, right? Okay, yeah. So um, we're in the act of making love, as, as you call it. And I don't think you uh, make love with sex toys. Well, I was making love with my mouth. So I, we're doing that, and I have it. And then I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna spice things up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like get this You're thing strange. ready for her." And then while it was on, I to to lubricate it, I put it in my. Mouth. Oh my god! No! And it was like ah, and it hurt my teeth. And I was like ah, in the middle of oral sex. And I played it nice. off like a champ. Oh she god. didn't even know. That I broke I love a you fucking said you make under. love with your mouth. <laughs> there was I, there was a video that we filmed. I'm going to talk about it because it's been so long since we filmed it. it. It's a video that never came out where a bunch of us had to like we were given sex toys and had to explain what it did. Oh yeah, do you remember that? Yeah, that was fun. It never came out. Yeah. And there was one which made me. And laugh, if you didn't so know, did you have to guess what you? Thought? We had to like talk like they would like there was prompts that the person filming it would ask us like. Uh, what does this do? Mm-hmm. Who? What do you use this on? Like yep. a bunch of other things. So like, where? What hole does this go in? Stuff okay. like that. And there was one that I remember was my favorite one. It was a mustache, <laughs> and it like had like a rubber band around your neck, and it would vibrate. <laughs> I guess because like it's to like for a guy to use when he's eating a girl out. I think it's what it we did. It wasn't comfortable. I was like, like, oh. But like someone would put it on and just be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it'd be vibrating so hard and it would tickle your nose. It's basically, yeah, awesome. somebody was like, like this to you. That's really funny. But I was like, can we take this one home? I don't, I don't remember filming that. You you were never in that one. Yeah, I figured I wasn't in it. Was that here? Was that the old studio? It was here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It was on that green screen over there. It was a couple of years ago. I, I remember too, like my gag, my running gag was if I didn't know what it was, then I automatically assumed it was a pipe for smoking weed. So I yeah. would <laughs> stick it in my mouth and go, Mom! Like <laughs> yeah. we've, been, that means we've been here three years now. Yeah. We I filmed remember this, that. We filmed this one. It was when like Aaron and I were already dating. And I remember because like, it was him and I doing it. And like you were with... No, Brandon? Brand? Chris or John or Tyler? Tyler. Tyler. You were with Tyler. And they had like people in like sets of two who would like they would give them the object and they would do it or like test it out. And there was one that looked like one of those, you know, those hanging monkeys that yeah. you had as a kid? Oh, yeah. There was one that was like a black one and it I think it was supposed to go like in the prostate. So just or hang it down? <laughs> Wait. I don't really understand. Like it, it was like hooks. It, it was weird. I thought it was like a butt and vagina, like at the same time. Me too. Kind of just like. Boop, 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 boop. 
know. Apparently, it's like a prostate simulator. You can just simulator. easily carry someone around, carry your partner around. Just boom, here we go. Yeah. Or, or you could like, you know, <laughs> hang your keys on it if you're got to go out and about, and you can just dangle it there. Yeah. Bad joke. It's on the network somewhere. I'm sure you could watch it. I'll have to. I'll have to look for it. Um, yeah, let's sometimes I like looking around in random folders for production uh, just to see stuff that people have filmed. I or, do that or all the time. What's coming out? Yeah, I, I forget that we can do that sometimes. Like, you can see stuff as it's being made or as it's progressing. It's yeah. always interesting to see. Yeah, you do that a lot, and I, and sometimes I don't like it because I want you to see like a fin finished product, and that, you'll, you'll see the rough. Barbara that's how I, that's how I saw Aaron's ass. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time I ever saw his ass. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, the the uh, the day five sex scene they had to film mm -hmm. for yeah. when Aaron was the doctor. Yeah, yeah uh, I just browsed yeah. through the network and I like I found that video. I was like, that what whole fuck do we have that here? whole raw video is on the network. Like not even like when it's small on the screen, like in day five, but just full. I think it was like sludge. in four K like and 4K. all the rough footage too. So it's, there's this woman that's just topless on our network, just pretending to get fucked by my boyfriend. No, like no big deal. That's so awkward. Apparently, she was a hoot. I'm I I'm sure she was. I I heard she was a very nice lady, and I have no problems with her. But get the fuck away from my boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jealous Barbara comes out. Uh, yeah, let me read this. Uh, oh, you got you got this the yeah, stuff. Uh, remind yeah, everyone, snacks. this episode of the podcast <laughs> is brought to you by Nature Box. What do you do when you want a snack, but all you can find is junk food? Rely on your self control to resist the temptation. Oh, some... Please, you eat the junk food. Start snacking healthy with Nature Box. Nature Box makes snacks that actually taste great and are better for you. Created with high-quality ingredients that are free from artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, so you can feel great about snacking. Uh, they got great ones like sea salt pop pops, cherry berry bonanza. What do y'all have there? Read me some of those. I have uh, peanut butter pretzels and Big Island pineapple. These Big smell good. really Hager, good. Hager smoked turkey jerky. Sorry. Strawberry lemonade fruit stars. They smell really good too. As soon as I opened it. That's great. Uh, I, I, yeah, this jerky is actually really good. Uh, Nature Box recently made their service even better. Now you can order as much as you want, really as good. often as you want. I try that one. No minimum purchase required. You can cancel any time. It's simple. Go to naturebox.com. Check out their snack catalog. So over 100 snacks to choose from, and they're constantly adding delicious new snacks. Choose the snacks you want. They'll deliver right to your door. With Naturebox, you'll never get bored. There's new snacks each month inspired by real customer feedback. If you ever try a snack you don't like, Naturebox will replace it for free. Right now, you'll save even more. Naturebox is offering our fans 50% off your first order. When you go to naturebox.com slash roosterteeth, it's naturebox.com slash roosterteeth for 50% off your first order. Naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. And they also... Provide us with some uh, snacks for the office that are seems like those well, are when always I first, empty. When when always you first empty. hired me, this was always in our office. Like we get them every month or so. How often do they send them to us? Yeah, once a month. So good. Every month we were getting something different. I remember the ones that we really liked were the little waffle. The Belgian oh, the Belgian the waffle bites. Bel oh, yeah, so good. The little lemon little, little lemon remember. cakes. Those are good. Yeah, good snacks. So uh, good. So thanks, Nick really, really for making mm, that great peanut snacks. Butter shit. Yeah. The peanut, peanut butter shit. What a great way to describe that it. That peanut butter one is awesome. Looks I good. love those peanut butter pretzels. You take the jerky. Mm, nom, nom. Gus, would you like any snacks? I would. What, we got some strawberry lemonade, some lemonade fruit stars, Big Island pineapple, uh, turkey. Uh, I'll take this. I'll this right here. Oh, what is this? Peanut. peanut butter pretzel. Those are great. Uh, great. The the crunchy one. Ooh. The pineapple's really good too. Yeah, I like that pineapple a lot. Everything is good. I want to try this turkey. All right. Snacks. Oh, man. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, the, the What's that really one? Good. Hickory oh, smoked turkey. That. If yeah, you're not you're a vegetarian, I suggest this one. You don't eat meat, except for fish. Not that kind. She's a, a pescatarian? Is that what it's called? You had chicken yeah. today, though, right? What? Didn't you say you tried the chicken? No, I said I didn't have the chicken, mm. but people were saying that the we get catered lunches every Monday. And I didn't like what we had for the vegetarian option, but people were saying the chicken was good. Yeah, falafel. The falafel it was, was dry. dry as fuck. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that what falafel is? Dry? No. I like falafel. I thought the normally I, thought, I really do like. I thought the falafel. food was really good today. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm just a very delicious. picky eater, so. Mm. It was there's like a lot of stuff I'd never heard of before, like that one thing that looked almost like a lasagna. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what it, it was. It was a something chab or chab. Chab. I'd never heard of it either, but I yeah. couldn't eat it because there was meat in it, so. Yeah, but it's always interesting to see like what the different things that we get every Monday is. Uh -huh. I, I think we started, Rusty started catering lunch for all the employees on Monday because we used to have it's all hands really meetings nice every thing Monday. Yeah, that the company does. Yeah. And we we don't have the meeting every Monday anymore, but uh, Rusty continues to to do a catered lunch every Monday. I it's love seeing that different. line form. <laughs> yeah, I, well, God, I, I was at the back of the line today. It was I always great for us because it used to be um, like catered lunch would come in around eleven forty five. We'd have the manager's meeting at 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. and then the all-hands at 1.30, I believe. And so since we had to do the manager's meeting, 
basically everyone was told managers get to cut line, get, get the food because they have to go to the meeting. So I just st- stroll in and it's just like, I'm just going to get my plate of food. And that was at the time where animation was still here. So there would be like 200 people in oh line. Yeah. Oh, no, I we felt so wait. bad, but I was just like, whoopsie. Yeah, the line would go. I mean, if you haven't been here to stage five before, but it would come from the <laughs> break room all the way, like almost like all the way back out here behind the podcast. Yeah, yeah, by like where our office was. Yeah, so it pretty much the, the length of it's like stage five. It's like 60 yards or something probably. Yeah, because it would come down and then come across. A lot of people, yeah. It was, yeah it people was at Rooster Teeth love their food. Free food. Free I love food, free yeah. food. Yeah, now animation uh, has their own building. So they have like their own. Sometimes they get different food. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes their food's better. I want to go eat over there sometimes. I also never sometimes know. Like, we, we should just, yeah, drive over. We get yeah. an email that says like, it's cool. The service that we use, it, it sends an email to everyone saying like, this is uh, one of the places you'll be getting food from and this is the other place. But I never know which one's for stage, like our stage. Which the one, the one you can find. I know how, do you know the trick? No. Which everyone says for Yvonne. Oh, that's the one here. Also, uh, yeah, for Lauren is the for other Lauren one. For Lauren is look over at. there. For gotcha, because they're the ones that have like the food special food specific things. Yeah, mm-hmm. I kind of feel weird going over there because I don't know some of the animators, so I'll just be walking in and be like. Oh, but you know, I mean, you know, most people. You know, Miles, Carrie, and Cole, and I could probably list off on two hands. But yeah, last time I was there, I uh, I made a bit of a scene. Um, was it when Jordan? Who's the guy with the long hair? He's the one that is the guy like, with the long hair. He's in charge of like uh, scheduling video Kyler? recording. Yeah, Kyler, sweet dude, super nice. One time when I was drunk, I gave him the longest hug and I wouldn't let go, and he was totally freaked out. But I was like, it's cool, it's cool. So and then he, you also grabbed him by the shoulders and he went, "You work so hard." He does. Kyler does work so <laughs> hard. Well, also we need to release those drunk videos. Um. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm looking for the door to get into our animation building, and I found it just as he noticed that I was there so I reached to grab the door and as he was opening it and my finger basically <gasps> got locked no. and he just like ripped off like a chunk of my fingernail and I was just like recently ah. uh it's it, no it was, it was a while oh, okay. ago but um it basically was just like just screamed did he feel bad and then animation was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah he did feel bad oh he's, he's his poor little mm-hmm. Kyler so yeah. now you can't forget his name guess not because you just learned it. You work so hard. <laughs> you work, you work so hard. You Dude, those drunk videos are so funny. I, I finally got a key to that other building. Oh yeah. Yeah. And to this building. And thanks, to this one. Thanks to my team. It used to be. So I don't work in stage five. I work in another building. It used to be I didn't have a key to that building, and I always get here early. I get here before anyone. I don't yeah, have a key to that building. Yeah, we're like two so of the this earliest building, people. That building and that building. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So like I would master. have to I would have to wait in the parking lot for Jeez someone master. to show up with a key to let me into my own yeah. office, uh, but yeah, f- luckily someone uh, one of Bethany's uh, employees got me a key for Bethany's that other building. Bethany's bitches. Just That's kidding, what I, I call them. That. You treat your girls right. I love them. I I couldn't do anything that I do without them. They're good the manager. It was really handy. We were talking about meeting and I was like, I'll send you a calendar invite. Like, oh, don't worry, my staff's already taking care of it. I was like, yeah, we were talking about getting nice. lunch because we love home slice. And so we haven't been in a while and we always, like Gus and I always go together. And so we were like, well, we should set this up. And Gus was like, okay, who should I invite like on the team? Like, who should I send it to? I'm, I'll start a calendar invite. I was like, Alex is already about to hit send. He's like, must be nice to have a staff. I was like, it really, really is. <laughs> I used to be your staff. Not really. I never. You were my manager for like. Yeah, but I, like, I would never make you do stuff like that. That's like true. send a calendar yeah. or something. Like I like I always felt bad because when we shared an office, people would come in looking for me if I wasn't there, and then and you'd have to her. like update them. And I've, I was always told you was like you're not my secretary. Yeah. You shouldn't have to keep track of me. People still tell yeah. people. I mean, I didn't mind where though. I, I didn't mind office. either because you like said the same thing to me once when it, when she left our office and it was just us. Because people just assume that I know where you are at all times because we're so closely connected. And even though you're not my boss anymore, that I report to. People still ask me, hey, when's Gus going to be out? Where's Gus? I'm like, I don't know anymore. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times I still do know. <laughs> I always felt guilty that like that was something that you would have to I like, just I just do. liked it because whenever someone would come in and they're like, hey, have you seen Gus? I would always say, he's right behind you. <laughs> Every time. Well, speaking of which, my cutout's in your office now. Oh, yeah, it Cardboard is. Cardboard cutouts. That thing because is Because Mariel fucking haunting. scared the shit out of me by setting that up in my fucking office. I knew it was either. I honestly, the two people I thought of that pranked me was either Mariel or Gus. I thought either of them would have taken, you know, his big cutout thing. You don't think mm-hmm. it's me or Blaine? You're probably the third, I would think. But okay. I thought, I would think that Mariel or Gus would want to do it first. Did, didn't you scream at the Rafa Blanado office when he was in the bathroom one yeah, time? Yeah, well, the, the, the old office we used to be in, you'd have to go into the bathroom, close the door, and then turn on the light. 
just like the way it was set up. It was weird. So oh. like by the time I closed the door and turned on the light and I turned around, someone had put the Gus cardboard yeah. cutout like right there. To the point well, where it's it was, like there. You can open the door when it's still dark first. When Mariel first hung it from the from center, the ceiling, yeah. That's the first time I screamed when I saw Gus's face, like <laughs> fake face, and then. Was last week. Was I literally shrieked so loudly, face? and and the people across the hallway, you know, who are not with <laughs> <your> teeth, <laughs> came like looking over. But so embarrassing. I screamed my ass off to go let somebody in over in that doorway over there, and someone actually taped it yeah, and to, hung to it to on the ceiling. The ceiling. No, that's what I'm talking about. That was Mariel. Yeah, fuck Mariel, dude. Because like I I I was running to get to the door, and then I had to like stop, and I like fell down it's scary. and yelled. I was like, Mom! Did you see what happened to Mariel this week? <laughs> yeah. What, what happened? She's a fucking idiot. She <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> she, what happened? We love you, Mayor, but she bought tickets to go see Hamilton. Oh, dumbass! Yeah, in, I saw that in Chicago Fucking. on April thirtieth. But the tickets were for April thirtieth, and she was there this week, thinking like, I don't know how for April she 9th. somehow because those make sense. Was convinced that the tickets were for April 9th. I don't know how Fuck she that got that. So she like planned a whole trip with her girlfriend over to in Chicago to go see the show, and realized yeah. I think that morning that they were for the wrong. And just date. imagine because she was telling us this morning in our in our group messaging channel that like that Laura, her girlfriend, had been like, hey, like just make sure that it's for the two p.m. showing today. Like they were on their way out of their Airbnb, Airbnb for the day, and then Meryl said that she checked her phone mm. for the confirmation, and her heart sank. And I know that feeling. I mean, yeah. I haven't fucked up that bad, <laughs> but like when your heart is just like you thought something was going to happen and it didn't, and you're so off, and you're like, oh my god, like we came for this reason, mm -hmm. and how do we get out of it? And it's your fault, and you need to and explain it's your fault, it. yeah. and you have to fix it. They so. luckily were able to get tickets somehow for that day oh, and good. still go see the show but she still i think has to sell her old tickets oh that's that's fixable. she'll be able to sell them because yeah. like i've like fucked up plane flights before flights before and that, I, I just consider that stupid tax so stupid yeah. taxes anytime you spend like something and it's just money that is just wasted which yeah it's like well, you just paid the stupid it's tax. like me yeah. and my movie last night yeah stupid tax. that wasn't that, that was just money, that's kind of like lazy tax and you got and it back like times a billion because you were with me. It's true. It was well, worth it. I also consider the things the that I get back in returns. Like, well, yeah, I fucked up a flight to San Francisco, but I get to go to Australia through the company. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, it balances out. Yeah. Fucking eternal optimist blame. Plus, also, if you mess up your flight, you get, like, airline credit anyway, right? Like, yeah. you miss a flight. If you, don't if you get only on board it? the plane, though. Because I went through American, and I don't know if I got the money. How did you mess it up, though? Um, so I was like, I needed to leave. I didn't say you get the miles. You get airline credit. Like they'll, if your ticket was four hundred dollars, mm -hmm. they'll credit you four hundred dollars with the airline. I was too late. Like I think by the time that it happened, I think I fucked it up to where I couldn't do that. Slash, I didn't look into it. So you yeah, might be you can right. absolutely do that. You you have a credit somewhere. I don't. Do I? Yeah. No. Yeah. If you didn't, if you never checked if you, in, if you didn't, even if you checked in, if you did not get on that plane, you have airline credit. Go I'm gonna look account. into this. I think you're full of shit. If, but, you, uh, if you show me your login, I can show you if there is one. Okay. Um, no, that's that's good news. But um, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm so uh, excited at the, 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 the idea of. Uh, yeah, you're, you're you're probably all right. You you probably got that money unless you you booked it directly with the airline, right? Not like through like Orbitz or some other third party site. I don't remember. If it was directly with the airline, you you should have it. Zero upcoming trips, but I am platinum right now. So. <laughs> Let's you have go. two more levels to get there. Should we, since Bethany's here, should we plug some events that we got coming up? For yeah, people to Ooh, attend. Yeah. What's what's the events that are coming up, Bethany? What are, what's so the, hot the take? one I'm the most excited for, which happens to be the mo the one that's coming up the closest, is the Let's Play Fucking Live Tour. Nice. That's what it's actually <laughs> the called. The Let's, Let's Play, Play Live Tour. No, it's live. called Let's Play Fucking Live. Um, Let's Play Live Tour. You can check it out. You can get the tickets via our website, the RoosterTeethLive.com website. Um, we're hitting four cities in one week. We go to Newark first, then Baltimore then Orlando, and then we end in Tampa. And it's going to be so much fun. Last year was fun when we did just the three one-off um, shows. You got to come to the New York one. Yeah. Wasn't that badass? It was amazing. I mean, aside from Bruce shaving his fucking head. No, I... I mean, awful. I have so much fun at those shows, even though I'm like, I have it nothing to do so with them. I like just fun. going to watch. It is so fun. And I'm not just saying this because I want y'all to buy tickets. Like, it's so much fun. And we're going to be on three tour buses. Apparently, it's going to be madness. Funhouse said on their podcast today that they're thinking about doing like a whole like storyline through all the shows. <laughs> <I'm> sure <laughs> like some recurring are. thing that happens. They will. They might have to do with those green emerald like anal beads that Bruce posted earlier. Oh, God. I don't think they're Mariel really anal beads. Tickets, by the way. Oh, she did. Oh, she did. Yay. Yay, Mariel, for selling your tickets. Super Good job. Tight.
You're redeemed. Anyway, you should check out the Let's Play Live tour. It's going to be so much fun. Where can they go to buy a ticket? Roosterteethlive.com. Check it out. You can always tweet me if you ever have any trouble. Um, people do that a lot, and I'm happy to help. Um, so that's kind of like the most exciting thing. We're leaving in less than two weeks. We're all getting on. We're all flying to Newark, and then we're getting on tour buses from that part wow. point on. And also RTX event coming up. We've also got no, RTX, RTX Austin event. coming up. That's July 7th to 9th here in Austin. Everyone Austin. knows where to go for that at this point, rtxaustin.com. We are going to be launching a new events, like a live events website soon so that everyone keep, you know, I've, this has been an initiative of mine for two years now. It's been forever since I started. Yeah. That we have one place for people to go to look at all of our live events, like what's up and coming. It's just on one page, different links to tickets. So I'm really excited. We'll probably launch that in the next month. Um, but it's been a big undertaking because we just want like one main hub. Yep. So RTX Austin, please check it out. We have really crazy stuff happening this year, really fun stuff. The, the same program programming that you're kind of used to seeing, but also some new cool things. We'll have an interactive portion like we have. We're doing a really cool concert on Saturday night that we have not announced yet, but it's going to be badass. <laughs> we're going to announce it, I think, in a week or something. Yeah, we're, we're setting up the... Yeah, so Facebook just stay tuned for that. For that. And then also we have, you know, RTX London, which everyone knows about. Gus is raising his hand. I'm looking at the RTX London website right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know it's sold out, uh, but I'm looking at the map yeah. showing where the event is and the dot isn't in the right place. Oh, Ooh, someone's getting fired on my team. Oh, so whose fault is that? The Same dot is at with all the, the Crown Plaza toys? Hotel, which is close to it's the Excel. Close. Well, we'll check it out. We'll yeah. fix that. But so it's, a, it's like people that at least live in London know that Excel is in this kind of weird like how would you explain it's in where yeah but it's in this weird strip that it's really the hotels in excel that are just right there in a couple of restaurants um but yeah we'll fix that um our chicks london's gonna be really badass we're already sold out of tickets but there's a chance we might be opening up some more in a couple months we gotta like work out a couple of kinks see if there's any extra space but no promises but there's a chance we might open and, up a few more and if it does open up it's not going to be very many at all right if we open any up amount. it will be very limited and it, we sold and, out in 14 minutes this year i don't want to clarify it's not like a gimmick to no, say no, no, like we didn't artificially say it's sold out no, no, no. like and it's going to take a lot of work yeah. to try to free up even what little we yeah. can and i know you're going to do your best to try to do yeah that. we're i'm really going to work hard we really want um to have as many like fans come out as we can get um so if we can open them up we will open them up but they will there will not be very many yeah so please keep an eye out we will make a lot of announcements about it to make sure it's fair and everyone can get on on the same time and all of that but we sold out in 14 minutes and then we released um another another bunch and we sold out with the, of those in like less than 24 hours so it's not a joke we're not doing this so to make people buy tickets and whatever we just if you want to go and you hear us say that we're releasing more, do it. Follow at RTX event on Twitter. Follow That's RTX the event. the best thing you could do. Yeah, I'm, al I'm also tweeting out a lot. We'll post stuff on the RTX website via a journal post. Like, we will we will put it out there and let people know. Yeah. But we have a lot of cool stuff. And yep. then uh, me, Carrie, Gray, and Jordan will be at C2E2 in a couple C2E2, weeks. I've always been curious about that event. I've never, yeah, I've never Where heard much about it. It's I in Chicago. Think, I think Mega64 does that event. Um, what are the dates? It is April 21st to 23rd, but we're only going to be there on the Friday. So if you're there or if you're in Chicago and you're nearby, you should come by and see us. We have a panel, signings, all that stuff. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I've always been curious. Let me know how that goes. I will be uh, I'll be at the gym <coughs> tomorrow. Pumping iron? Exclusively. You can come and... Pumping roids. Get an autograph if you'd like. It's a big, big event. Bad I'm joke. Proud of you. Just... <laughs> well, you're not. sticking with it, and that's the important part. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next week. Everyone's getting up in a hurry. Love you. Bye. 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 Deuces. <laughs>